make them aware of this situation as existing? Yeah. Well, GNC for you, it's pretty bad. You know, I, bad. I think it's the use of the no, procedure that we just changed, in fact, this morning. But, uh, well, that's what won't make a difference. Yeah, but I think you ought to talk yeah, but I think you ought to talk to him and, uh, and be sure that, that we all understand what's happening there. We did give them a procedural change that supposed to take care of that, but let's be sure they understand. Okay, I guess I better find out what the procedural change is. They changed the... Oh, okay. They changed the they changed oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I passed it up. Yeah, but, but still, I think you ought to verify that we all understand. Fight this dress, though. Yeah, right, Joe. I'll go ahead and get a focus. Block that it needs to be updated and uh, I'll follow 11 and 2 is it over? Okay. okay. Uh, Roger 11, uh, we've been watching your activity on the disk you there and uh, by selecting another major program with uh, a major 37 enter and all that. Uh, we show you uh, that in CTC and uh, having driven the CMC raised uh, from 0.3 degrees per second to uh, 0 degrees per second. Although, of course, with all the uh, auto RTS coils shut off, uh, you're not firing any thrusters over. FAO, CMS. Go ahead. Uh, I missed part of that conversation, but uh, he did uh, collapse oh, the dead band, uh, but with the thrusters off, there shouldn't be any problems. Uh, right. Just remind him about the thing when he, uh, before he turns the uh, thrusters uh, back on. If you go to turn any thrusters on, the CMC, uh, the CMC uh, we then try to bring you into uh, an attitude hold position rather than continuing with uh, PTC. Over. Okay. Okay. FAO. Go ahead. It looks to me like they're having a good time up there just playing around with all these little other programs that they right. had an opportunity to do. They've done P-21. And Houston, we're just uh, looking at you out our window here. Uh, looks like there's a uh, circulation of clouds. Uh, circulation of clouds. Houston, Houston, over the Gulf and uh, Florida area. Did that have any rain in it? Uh, Raining outside right now. Uh, Roger, I have a report from outside says that it's raining out here. And it looks like you got a pretty good eye for the weather there. Yeah, well, it looks like it ought to clear up pretty soon from our uh, viewpoint. Uh, the, the western edge of the weather isn't very far uh, west of it. Okay. Well, no, I can't say that. I can just say it's bad. I'm going to play with the confirmation of it, but I can't be rather than play with it. Okay. We haven't got any. Someone call FAO. No, Roger. We just go back and check that roll, and it, it, that was right. It was 0.28 feet per second. So it's actually going slower. All right. Thank you. Gentlemen, there's a clock out here that says we are 73 hours, 11 minutes, and 40 seconds away from the land. I figured y'all might be interested.
better prepare with it. Go ahead, got him. Okay, have you gotten a word on that? Uh, Negative. Okay. I sure have not Stand by a minute and I'll give him a call. All right. Yeah, that. FP1 FAO. FAO? No. Do you have save lease? Office telephone number. I can get it for you. Okay, could you get it for me right quick? Yes, sir. Four two six five. Four two six five, huh? That's the firm. Thank you. Flight telco. Hello. Hello, I'd like to speak to Savely, please. Uh, Roger. Right Are we planning uh, on going ahead and purging an additional hour after the uh, 2953? Yeah, 2953. This is Mr. Pine. Who am I speaking to? Mr. Pines. Mr. Pines? Oh, uh, well, we well, had uh, I was just trying to check on the status. He was over here today running uh, while we were doing the PP23. So he was going to run the data, and I was going to ask him how the data was coming along. Do you know where I might get in contact with? Hold it. Well, they uh, Telcom feels that we need an extra hour to ensure our men O2 kind of Yes, we ought to do that. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Hello? No, no, uh, he's not around. You'll have to let me have your name and he'll call you back. Okay, my name is Spencer Gardner and uh, you can call my SSR uh, at uh, 5588. Call it. God forbid you should need something. Well, MCM, don't <laughs> they were find the pencil. Uh oh. Yeah, I got it. Okay. okay.
Spencer. You can tell Calgary we ought to go in there. Tell Calgary we ought to go in Roger and the number is. Also run this from two spans. Everybody agrees. Thank you. Span crew. See it. That's span. That's span. Great. That's far. We told them. We left it open ended. It right. Roger, I'd like to go ahead and have the additional hour. I don't hear the rest of it. I don't see read out at the end of that. Okay. God, I'm Tepe, Go ahead. I can't read. So, uh, I don't know. He was supposed to get back with us, but he hasn't yet. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do then, is uh, just uh, make flight so aware that we do have the load out there for the gyro and physical compensation and biases. And uh, if we have to uplink uh, that outfit thing, we'll make a decision. Roger. Uh, I don't know what kind of data they're coming up with. I don't even know if they're going to get a Delta H. Uh, they took the data and I told them to go run, get their results as quick as possible. And I don't know what, frankly, I don't know what results they plan on coming up with that thing. You know who's responsible for getting this place? Savely. Savely? Yeah. Okay. In math, physics. I understand. Thanks, Tim. Is that bad? No, uh -huh. Oh, okay. Flight procedures on Flight Director 2. Go ahead. Go ahead, proceed. Okay, Got I heard GNC maneuvers is, is trying to get hold of you on GOS 6. Six. GOS 6. And we have a load generator. Oh, Lord, I, I got GOS 6. We have it back here. We'll call him. Okay, we'll call him in the background. Uh, okay. I've been kind of waiting to see for sure whether we'd have it. FB1, get hold of it. 31 hours for this Earth Horizon bias. Roger, we'll do Kind of got a feeling that uh, we're not going to be able to. Come up with a number for this Delta H update. So uh, I guess so, uh, it's your choice. We can uplink these biases at any time. What's the 31 hour point? What we do have a planned uplink. What's your choice? And why do you say we won't have a Delta H 31? Delta H. Well, there's two sources for for generation of the, the updated number. And one source has already stated that we want to be able to put this data out to come up with a new number. The other source is taking the data away and uh, data away and uh, is, is hasn't come up with a number yet. Well, let's, let's wait and see what he comes up with. Let's wait and see what he comes up with. Right. Right.
GNC flight. Flight GNC? I just uh, have a platform, it's an uh, update form. Up uh, can you talk to me in terms of segments? Yes, sir. On the gyros, uh, the X term is uh, one sigma. The Y term is slightly le under, under half sigma. Half sigma. And the Z term is about one twentieth of one sigma. <laughs> Come on now. And well, it's just about what it is. The pip is uh, the Y term is uh, two sigma, and the Z term is slightly greater than one sigma. Okay. Yeah, you gonna fix up for me one of those change of shift uh, pads you guys make up? Pads you guys make up, okay? What what time are we supposed to change today? Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Is your other team here yet? Yeah. The old flight plan too. Go ahead. Uh, the guy back here wants a copy of the flight plan, you know, the updated flight plan. Who's the guy? Uh, let's do it. Let's see. Oh, and this is Sevilla from Spain. All right, he has a copy. Of a copy of the updated flight plan? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, you know, people. Before we just made one copy, I think Helmet made it or something, you know, and there was a big flap about it before on mission. Just, we weren't supposed to do this for anybody. Do you know what That's the... That's supposed to be right. Helmet's the only one that's supposed to get the copies of okay, that. Okay, I just wanted to confirm it. Thank you.
52, that's a yo. Yo, that's a yo. We can ask Holloway when he comes in if it's any different. When he, he'll come in, uh... Yeah, well, that's that's the way I understood it. A little bit, but uh, that, that's my understanding, too, that Hellman gets one of those every afternoon, and he's the only person we're supposed to give those to. Roger. Thank you. You mean somebody like Jack Sevier can't get one, huh? Well, Lenny, we're not supposed to. Now, I don't know if that's changed or not, but uh, we got to go by the rules that are made for us to go by. And uh, when Holloway comes in, I'll ask him if that rule is still the same. And if it's still the same, well, that's still the same. But you know who Jack Severe is. Yeah, I know who Jack is. And, but if it's diff if the rule's been changed, we'll make him a copy. Hey, somebody got a copy last night, and he's just trying to get some more copies. Now, maybe the rule has changed, but I don't think it has from what Holloway's hold up. Well, all I can say is uh, we'll have to wait and make the copy tomorrow, uh, tonight when the Holloway says it's okay. If he says yeah, it's not, we can't make the copy. I just wanted to confirm it with you. Okay. That P1 FAO. Go ahead. Have you got the speaker on? Negative. Why don't you put the speaker on? I'll say something to Jack. He's not here. Oh, he's gone? He left yeah. in a very... He took my name and left. Yeah. But it doesn't bother me anymore. <laughs> he's going to go tell the world that I wouldn't let him have a copy of the fight plan. Well, uh, the reason for that is that everybody and his little brother has become like their ex expert, and you guys be having to make copies of the flight plan all the time. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And uh, we just can't afford to do that. We do it for one person, we have to do it for others. Now, if Mr. Lowe comes down and asks for one, we'll make him one. If you understand what I mean. Yeah, I understand. Go. All right. So we, before the end of our shift, we had a position to pass up uh, word to the effect that uh, this uh, O2 flow sensor is definitely malfunctioning, just for their information. Don't know. Uh, he found flight. Flight account. Good comment on that. Good comment on that. If, have you drawn any conclusions that you come on the yeah, flow sensor? Yeah, the flow sensor is now functioning. Okay. You might pass, All right. that. You might pass right. that up now, Capcom. Tell them we'd like to leave this purge on for a while longer to be sure we've got the, uh, this enrichment the way we want it. Based on the Delta P's they're saying they, they think they need about another hour. About that? Uh, about an hour about now. Uh, about an hour about now. Just about. Okay, oh, and if it's agreeable with you, I'll tell them we'll plan to terminate about 31 hours. Okay, okay, you count? Okay, 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, this is Houston. Uh, as a result of our standing through the, uh, uh, through the waste uh, management drain, why we've concluded that your O2 flow rate uh, is, in in fact, malfunctioning. Uh, is in fact malfunctioning. Uh, I mentioned when uh, we 
He talked us uh, through the uh, cyclic water, uh, even, though, uh, even though it was moving, often indicating a higher flow rate, it didn't seem to be indicating a flow rate that's high enough. And based on that and the flow that we're getting right now, uh, we've concluded that the transducer is malfunctioning. Uh, we'd like to continue the uh, O2 Flow for about an hour for about an hour shutting off at about 31 hours GET to uh, get the uh, O2 concentration up, uh, in the vehicles up to in the uh, vehicles up to where it'll be acceptable for a limb checkout over. Okay. Uh, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, it looks like it's fine. Yes, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I think it'll perform all the functions in a biased manner. Okay. Based on what we've seen. It does seem to be a. Do you have a biased uh, bias, number figure uh, to how do you count? Looks like it uh, uh, has a forward uh, running board. Uh, 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 you can't seem to think, though, that for high flow rate. There's a relative indication during the mission. Over. Okay, we understand. Thank you. Slide it down. Yep. Okay, uh, the bias. I can't tell which direction the bias is. I can't tell which direction the bias is. It could possibly be just an additive bias because the range is as small as the flow rate we have. Right, very, well, keep working on it. At least is as much as about eight tenths of life. It's about eight tenths of okay. an hour. Keep looking at it. Okay. FAO. Uh, he's off the loop. How far off the loop? Oh, I don't even see him. He's way off the loop, isn't he? Yeah, he's down the hall, I guess. Under the table. Okay. FP1 FAO. Go ahead. Both FAO. Of those, did both of those CMS guys go? Go where? Go oh. back. I mean. Oh no, negative. I, uh, they, their headsets are still here. Or they just left the room. Uh, both of them are still around, huh? Say again, FAO. They're still control play. Control play. They're still, uh, they're both still here, though, right? Oh, Roger. Okay. One of them has it gone, and the other one's going to stay in. Okay, what's on 
30 hours and 15 minutes. Yes. Go ahead. Any time you say terminate band feed charge. Uh, sorry, I didn't hear him. He may have, but I didn't hear him. Okay. All right. FAO flight plan two. Go. Are you trying to get a hold of the table? He's yeah. on the telephone back here. Yeah, I, I want to ask. You want to get a telephone he, number and call him? Yeah, tell him, tell him I need a, want a telephone number to call him. Okay. FAO flight plan two. Go. Four two six five. Okay, he's at that number now, huh? Roger. Okay, will do. Thank you. FB2 FAO. Go. His first name is Bob, isn't it? Hello, uh, Roger.
Mr. Avery? Right. This is Gardner. Hey, uh, what I wanted to ask you was, uh, you know, you guys were saying you're going off and using the data. What are you going to calculate with the data? Oh, we're calculating uh, delta A. You're calculating another delta A. Uh, noise by from the data. Jeff Conflict. Jeff Conflict. Jeff Conflict. We want to terminate uh, charging battery A at uh, 30 plus 15. It isn't actually called out. Uh, it's been required to be read up until uh, the guy that says the MIT said that they can't can't come up with another one. Okay. Well, I think the, the data we got yesterday indicated that the LH is about 21 kilometers, but it's close. Going out, uh, we aren't going out. Yeah. Uh, we aren't going out. Time for these have to be read up. Actually, this is uh, we just come at uh, 35 hours. Of course, clock data LOI minus five from the flyby to prime CLA. Yeah, I don't quite understand what you're getting together. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Blake. Yeah. Only block data I see you. We owe them, is it 35 hours? 35 hours. Okay, and that's what I said. I think I briefed you on that earlier. That's the next one, and that's at 37 hours. That's the permit. Uh, the block date I'm talking about is like the ones we passed up uh, several hours ago. Okay, okay. Can you let me know? Okay, and that was the data. And that was based on mid course 2. I was out doing mid course 2, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. We don't want to pass all that up. Pass all that up again. Okay, read guys that, that they Okay, uh, I, I understood when I talked to you. Uh, I just talked to Savely, and they are running the, uh, the data, but the data will be run go ahead until and another couple hours and now. It and it won't be finished, and they want to check it out until another couple uh, hours now. You don't want to check uh, uh, pass up these three blocks. But they are running a Delta H, and they said it's well, maybe I'm confused, Retro. So they are not confused like Delta H. It's not different. To me like you're supposed it's not different anymore. More than what they already got, got they'll just yeah. tell them what they got is good. Uh, it looks like uh, what we're really doing uh, here is uh, really uh, changing uh, the delta V. Uh, yeah, that, they, they said it's going to take about two or three more hours. They said it was due at 31 hours GET, but uh, uh, since they got it an hour, this is the block data for which town now? Uh, TLI plus 35, 44, 44. Okay, Retro, you agree with that? You know how that is. Just the Delta V's retro. Just the Delta V's. Well, uh, the ignition time. Need anything else? Nothing but that summary. And the uh, the only other thing Roger. we get in there really is time for the ignition time. Different trajectory. Okay, and the numbers that uh, you've given me, John, in this particular case, they haven't changed. In this particular case, they haven't changed. Capcom. Uh, Capcom. Sure. Why don't you go ahead and ask him to turn that battery charge off at 3015. Let's sort this thing out. Right later. Okay, OSB1. Go. So at 31 hours, we have to update, right? What? 31 hours, we have a delta H update, right? Roger, but we're not going to have the delta H ready by this. Who gives us that? Got it. Okay. Tell us when you hear. Okay.
FAO five plan two. Go ahead. Did you receive a TV attitude update? Roger, Dodger. Okay. I just got it. Uh, I've had it back here. I just thought you didn't, I didn't need, need it. Till it. Now. Didn't need it till now. Okay. Thank you, sir. If there's any questions on that, the left hand window looks at the earth and they ought to see the moon out the right hand window. Although it's close to the left ground. hand window at earth. Right hand. You should be able to see the moon out the right hand window. We don't guarantee that. Window at moon. Maybe. FAO flight plan two. PMS FAO. Go ahead. Uh, this is bloody, isn't it? Right. Oh, uh, is Frank still around? Uh, no, he's not. Uh, he's supposed to be gone an hour. Okay. Do you know if last night when he went over there, did he ver did did they verify yesterday's attitudes in the CMS? Uh, that's negative. They did not. They did not. Uh, that's right, but uh, Frank doesn't think they had the launch rest mat, okay? So they tried the attitudes, they didn't work out, and Frank had a question whether or not they had in the launch rest mat at that time. They aren't sure whether they had the launch rest mat or the PTC rest mat in the computer. Okay. In the simulator. Thank you. Roger. Flight fighter. Go ahead. I'd like to write another checkpoint. 
Stand by. Ecom GNC. Flight network. Go ahead. Now, draw some report. Now, draw some report. They are recording. They are recording. What are you saying? Say that again. Gallstone is receiving TV from the spacecraft. They're recording it at the present time. Is the signal good? Uh, stand by. That way. That way. Have a little flight plan too. Go ahead. How come all these unscheduled TV times? What are you talking about? They have a TV right now. That's interesting. I wasn't even paying attention. How do you know they're having TV? No, they just network reported the gold on the TV. They just like playing around with the TV. Like, I don't have anything better to do, I guess. Go ahead. We have our checkpoint thingy. Okay. 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 Check Flight FAA, Go. Flight, I'm running a little late in getting this thing uh, written up, uh, but I'll have it in while I leave. Flight Network. Welcome to report that the picture is very snowy. Snowy. Okay. Capcom? Yes. Crank it down, TV. Roger. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Over. Houston. Over. Houston. 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 reports they're receiving uh, a TV picture coming down. Uh, a little snowy. Uh, a little snowy, but uh, a good snowy. TV picture. Over. Um, Roger, we're uh, just testing the equipment up here. Yeah, equipment up here. Roger. FAO flight plan two. Go ahead. There's a procedure yeah. that he can do so he can play with the okay. TV camera and not download it. Okay, stand by. Okay, yeah. And that's what he wants to do. Stand by. What numbers? Capcom flight. Uh, Capcom. Capcom. Capcom flight. The crew, what number? Ask the crew, what number? Check. Okay, apparently they've got something in the in the field of view of the camera. Okay, well, let's find out. We'll ask them to find out. Is it Capcom? Goldstone, M&O. Go ahead. Roger, stand by a minute, Goldstone. Uh, 11, this is Houston. Uh, what numbers are you referring to? Over. Well, I guess that they can't see any numbers, but I, uh, I'm a lot of time. I think it is standby. I wonder what numbers before we had. Network flight. Flight network. Reporters tell us, John. Say again. Say again. 
Activity light flashing over. Very good. Very good. Thank you. And they also report that you appear to have uh, panned the camera over to another location now.
Capcom Network. Capcom Network. Flight GNC. Guard GNC. The max excursion we've seen on ATC so far has been an 8 degree half angle. So apparently this. Uh, oh, right there. Oh, bugging hot. Oh, bugging hot. No, it doesn't seem to have. We don't. can't see any effect on it. Okay. What was that you predicted earlier? What was that you predicted earlier? What was that you predicted earlier? We'd see about 12 degrees. Okay.
guy just read. Go ahead, Rachel. Didn't we update the show run on by while we've been on? Uh, no, we haven't. Are you going to do it? No, I don't think we're well, I, I told Chris about it, and uh, they had a plan up like John. This is why I've really been waiting. Uh, they had a plan up like uh, uh, the Earth Horizon thing at 31 hours. Uh -huh. And I've been waiting to get a number on that, and it uh, looks like they're, they're going to be slow on that. So okay, I'm but, but somebody, somebody is going to do it, right? Oh, yes. Uh, I have recommended to be done on the first part of next year. Yeah. Not, not to wait for them. So go ahead and get it. Yeah. When did you guys do a uh, state vector update uh, at the mid fourth two? What time was that? We didn't do one at the mid fourth two. Huh? Oh, you did? He still no, had the same vector? That's right. He still has the same one he had at the front. Well, I'll be damned. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. Did it? Okay. That's so good. So good. Uh, John, you remember earlier this morning when the show came to me and was uh, asking about uh, the white numbers of right. the uh, What did y'all ever come up on that? Well, uh, I thought it was a poor time to do it because we were, having, we were going through the throes of the auto. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't remember it until it was. I told him to stand by, and I think that we should be discussing this problem in the middle of on this team. Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to update for Aspen and DOI to the nearest 10 tanks. Okay. Take the both of them? Yeah. Now, the other way, like after, uh, uh, the other way to let it go is at like 200. Okay. Yeah, you remember you and I, uh, we just talked about this thing uh, slightly when we were trying to go over our checklist. Mm -hmm. that, that's the uh, one, that's when we have to update. Okay. Because, 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 uh, because uh, I'm getting into town turned into, I think 50 pounds changed the, the, the uh, time of it all by one second. Okay. 
the rest of us will be to us now. And, and, I, and I'll be glad to talk to those guys on that. I just want to work with you. Control from flight. 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 FAO Econ. Go. 49 hours, uh, the clock for water down. And this is subject to, uh, whimsy of, uh, flood dynamics officer. Okay, we'll look at that. Okay. Thank you. FP1 FAO. Got that. Okay, take a look at that, will you? And Roger. Let me know, let me know something. FAO yes, Go. We could probably stretch that a little bit with this. Go ahead, 11. You can stretch it somewhat? Only an hour or two. Oh, All right, I'll, 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 I'll have to. But we'll look at it. Oh, just fine. I'll tell White Tail today. I'll White Tail there. I'll Hey, you got any uh, medics down there watching the heart rate? I'm. Uh, I'm wondering, just out of curiosity, whether it breaks my heart rate up. Uh, well, they will momentarily stand by. Stand by, we'll give you a rate. 
SAO voice line two. Go ahead. What's the crew doing right now? Are they still on TV? I noticed he had the high gain antenna angle called up. Uh, I don't know. They've been playing around. Yeah. 
he was almost at the same attitude I have, you know, for TV yeah. attitude, and confirmed all those high gains and all that, you know, just a few degrees different. Okay. Right away, you see. Go ahead. Can you stand about a two minute loss of data this time? For a guided CP recycle? A two minute loss of data. Right. Yeah. How right. about guidance and retro? Better check with them. we go. Go ahead. Two minutes? Right. Fine. Fine. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, we got a little distortion, uh, a horizontal direction, uh, a lot of standing on a monitor. I wonder if they're getting on a thing to stand by. Stand by, Buzz. I'll let you know. Why, GNC? Go ahead. Go ahead, GNC. Yeah, what do you need? Guess, yeah, uh, we'd like to, uh, uh, yeah, we'd like uh, to uh, uh, do a gutter CP recycle, which will mean a loss of data for about two minutes. Raj, go ahead. Okay, all positions. Uh, we're going to recycle the gutter CP, and we'll have data loss for approximately two minutes. Goldstone M&O, uh, Houston Capcom. Goldstone M&O. All right. Okay, the crew is complaining of some uh, horizontal banding on their monitor. Do y'all see that on the picture? Stand by. Stand by. Stand by.
I'm a Paul 11 Houston uh, yeah. Yeah. Some TV yeah. guys yeah. 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 say that uh, they had some uh, horizontal banding uh, across the uh, upper part of the picture and across the uh, lower part. Uh, they would consider the line yeah. just uh, straight, uh, no waving it to them at all. Over. Uh, say again about the vertical line, bro. Say again about the vertical line, bro. Right, when there's a vertical line, uh, these horizontal uh, bands, and uh, all weight. Uh, uh, right, Doc Toppy, he didn't mention that. Uh, stand by, I'll check again. Body come. Body come. Go, he come. We've lost the We've lost the switch to Omni Delta. Hello, Roger. You said that we'd love to come in and meet with Delta. We'd like you to uh, switch to uh, Omni Delta. Over. Do we confirm that the uh, Kevin Enrichment purge has been terminated? Uh, we'll eventually see a response from we'll the hand, but uh, we won't don't see an immediate one. Okay. Charlie, do you want to verify that they've been terminated? Charlie, do you want to verify that they've terminated the uh, Kevin Enrichment procedure? About that time. About that time. Capcom Network. Okay, all flight controllers, let's get settled down and get handed over here shortly. Get handed over here shortly. Guidance procedures on AFD conference.
Hello, Paulo Lama Houston. Uh, we'd like you to terminate the young two for a year already. And the TV uh, camera people uh, say that the lines are inherent in the camera. Uh, Roger, uh, we can terminate the O2 bridge at this time, over. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's the old flight land, too. Roger. I'm going to be off for about a minute. All right. Guidance for flight. Go ahead, fly. Go ahead, fly. Go ahead, fly. Uh, did you ever get those loads up to the uh, CMC? Take the negative flight. We're standing by with the load. Standing by with the load. Of course, you just need to know where you did settle down. I have the load ready, and it's at the site, but it has not been up lately. Where is the white on the side? Uh, it's Gold Stone. It's Gold Stone. It's Gold Stone. Copy. Dover. Okay. Thank you. Don't do any more though, okay? FAO from flight. Go flight. I'm sorry, time to put these guys to sleep tonight. Put these guys to sleep tonight. Stand by. Thirty-seven hours, GET. Thirty-seven hours, GET. Thirty-seven hours, GET. Flight. Okay. It's about six hours from now, huh? Any reason to keep them up that long? Any reason to keep them up that long? Any reason to keep them up that long? Ah, uh, yes, sir, flight. Were these at TV expense? Did it move early? Flight network, but I heard Roger. When we recycled the guard at CP, they had trouble coming back. It looks like they've got a bad machine. They're up now, but they're still not too sure. We're receiving data 
but uh, we're not too sure of it. No, we're not too sure of it. No, we're not too sure of it. Not too sure of what? You mean the CP? Of, of the uh, CP and okay. whether how reliable it is at the present time. Uh, what is that? This is a guarded CP. This is a guarded CP. Guys, Going to send that load. We heard 31 hours. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have it ready to send. I was just waiting for everything to get quiet and that CP's daughter in its thing. I think we ought to go ahead and get it in there so we can get a long time on the conversation right in front. Okay, as soon as it gets the uh, daughter's CP, right I'll be ready. I'm ready now. Oh, that's good. Plenty time. Plenty time. Yeah, we got a command in for Delta. We can go back to Bravo. Okay, you got the command in for Delta, and you want to go back to Bravo on board for the antenna, correct? That's firm. Capcom? Correct, that's firm. Capcom? Yeah, say again, flight, I wouldn't listen. We got the command in for Omni Delta. We'd like the crew to go back to, to go on board back to Omni Bravo. Okay. Hello, follow along with uh, Houston. Please flight uh, Omni Bravo on board, over. How's everything going down there? You guys happy with the spacecraft system? That's affirmative. Uh, affirmative. Everything's looking uh, really good to us. Over. GNC from flight. GNC from flight. Uh, let me hit one item with you. I'd like a bit better brief, more complete briefing on. Uh, apparently, Neil noticed some uh, bias on his onboard DC reading during MCC2. I'd like a bit better definition of what he said about it. What he said. And secondly, I'd like to uh, pull up uh, some kind of briefing for him, possibly, as to what he might see during the uh, LOI burn. In other words, I don't know how familiar he is with the uh, DC profile during the long burn. Roger, fly. Uh, Roger, fly. Uh, Roger, fly. We're proceeding in that direction. That, that is comparing our telemetry with. Stand by. 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 Stand by.
Roger, flight on. Get with it. So, Charlie, as soon as you get that stuff, why don't you tell the crew to give us uh, four and accepting and off Lincoln. Four and accepting okay. and off Lincoln. Show coming up. Flight, we already, we already have that. If you want to pass it up now or you want to wait? I'd like, like to go over it with you, please. And I'd like to go over it with ECOM, too. Roger. FP2 FAO. LFAO. You did verify these, right? Roger. Okay. Uh, flight Capcom, are we ready to go with the load on the uh, updates? And uh, are we configured? Uh, it figured, uh, we, are we on the high gain now? Negative. Okay. We're in the Omni spot. Guidance flight. Guidance flight. 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 Roger is flight off and figured now for the uplink. I'm ready for five is uh, and the general is ready to give us updates for you. Can you give us two and accept over? Okay, thank you much. Uh, our biggest uh, okay, point is, is uh, on the gyro. On the gyro, 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 on the gyro
FAO Capcom, fly directed to. Go oh, Capcom. Hey Spence, have they made any comments about being able to see the moon, or is it not to them yet? Uh, they haven't made any comments that I've heard about seeing the moon. Uh, how, however, it, we. You how know, about it, tracking it down and see if it's dark up there yet? On them, uh, can they see the moon? From they the moon? ought to be able to see the moon. It's not dark. Completely. Hey, Spencer, there is pretty dark, and it's real near the sun. So you have a, you know, it is near the sun. sun. I yeah. kind of think it's pretty dark, isn't it? And sure, it is. it's just the, uh, you know, the real it's a silver. Man. It's got a little bit of a. Okay, thank you. I thought it did anyway. Okay. Go guidance. Uh, I'm going to work up an update for the crew. An update for the race below. Just the update. Are you sure they change those loads? And I believe we're also lacking a number from yesterday. Okay. 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 It's all the way out there like that. DCS your star charts. Look, we got a, a sun elevation of seven degrees or so, uh, at least on our uh, landing site when we land. And that means that we got to have some sun showing on the moon, right? Well, on landing day, uh, well, it, we're only 71 uh, hours away from landing. Uh, Roger, we could have that. Uh, it's a new moon. Uh, uh, this is a storm here. This is with respect to the spacecraft. Uh, yeah, a couple of storms around the area. Back on the moon. From where you are on the spacecraft. I'll be looking right now at the view from the spacecraft document. I'll show you a picture of it. Hey, Spencer, okay. remember, three days is equivalent of three times 13 degrees of sun travel on the moon. So you're going to have a good bit of uh, uh, shift the one we get here came in from the west and the sun comes east around. Is, uh, an ellis, though, as far as I can tell. Don't tell me the FAO is beginning to doubt FP2 now. Just questioning it. Okay. I can see a light right up, uh, right up along the left. I'm running into the stop right now. 
Uh, Roger, sound like a pretty fantastic view. Guys in the weather office at Patrick wanted to report on the top, but I guess all he's doing is we're above. Uh, Roger, we'll pass it on to Metro. Houston, uh, Ticini, predominant uh, weather system, uh, uh, storm type, uh, or any, storm type, or any, uh, build up to our tropical storm type, over. Uh, not any, uh, large, large, or a couple of smaller, uh, one maybe, uh, one mile, one to Cuba, mile, but it doesn't look, uh, Right. Uh, flight, maybe we ought to pass on the weather that they cited a depression out in Atlantic around Cuba there. They have a Cuba there. Tracking people yeah. haven't picked that up yet. Is that right? Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. Who was this uh, talking about? That was Buzz. That was okay. Buzz. Okay. FAO flight plan one. Go ahead, FP one. You don't have anybody out there with our green badge, do you? Nate has it. Nate has it? He should be coming back okay, now. Okay, I was wondering where the thing had disappeared to. Alright, thank you. Well, you know, you should tell us when people come out here with the green badge. Oh, you come. I'm to okay, but I didn't know he'd taken it. Okay, you should not let him make okay. a demonstration well, on the water. Tell somewhere. him that uh, next time to let somebody know how about he takes it. Roger. Okay. Will do. Okay, off flight controller is give you okay, about another five controller. minutes to go through the shift change, and then I got a few items I want to go over. I'll go around the horn and find out what everybody's got in their work schedules for this evening. So in about five minutes, it's going to be going around the horn. You should have completed your handover by now. Completed your handover by now. He comes and what? Go ahead. Need anything from Mr. Go fight. John, we've terminated the uh, cabin purge right now. Have you achieved the uh, O2 concentration that you want now for the rest of the mission? That's fine, fine. That's fine, fine. Okay. That's fine, fine. And everybody is all happy with the, uh, the uh, purge. You feel you've got a uh, failed flow sensor. What's our CMLM Delta T? Point nine eight. Point nine eight. Point nine eight. Okay. And about
He comes with Blight. Blight will done when you get a chance. I'd like to start going through your consumables. Blocks. Okay. Your convenience. FAO flow plan two. Go. Yeah, hey, I sent you a copy of uh, the moon. Somebody on this line. Have you got it yet? I just got something. Okay. Moon and sun. Let me check my star chart here and see if that agrees with what you got. Yeah, sure. The wood star chart. Yeah, you got a PTC star chart. Roger. Stand by. Okay. Anybody on this line? Anybody on this line? Network from flight. Network from flight. Right, network. Yeah, will you do me a favor? Find out who's calling up the Cape RSO private line about every two, three minutes. Every log on thing, three minutes. Log on thing comes on. Okay. Nobody's on it. Roger. If be too, if I were a good star chart reader, I could probably verify what you say, but I'm not a very good star chart. You got a uh, hold coordinate, John? You can do it on either one. Go ahead, he comes. Yeah, we're ready on 58. Yeah, we're ready on 58. Okay. Panel 58. Panel 58. Yeah, what you're looking at there is the pressure plot. The bottom scale is the O2 tanks. Okay. And we're now balancing the and tanks back up again on the O2. Uh, suspicion is we may have slightly degraded heater element tank too, which is uh, doing consistent unbalance. And you can tell at the end of the plot there that we we we'll turned off the uh, cabin dome. Cabin purge, yeah. See that? Cabin purge, yeah. And the reason that tank one was hanging low there was the fact that uh, we weren't feeding a certain amount from tank one. And that's okay. normal. You use standby one, John, before you switch that in tank two, then. Are you using the heater uh, using the uh, heaters uh, fans to provide supplemental heating? Uh, negative right now, run just the auto heaters. Okay. And, and that's the uh, quantities you're looking at there, Clyde. And uh, I believe you have our summary sheet from the, as far as the status of the films. Okay, standby one. Well, let me look at it a second and see if I have any questions there. Okay, a little bit for today. Okay. Yes, yeah, stand by. Back on the O2, John. You give me the totals. What's the uh, difference balance wise? Looks like we had about what? Uh, 15 pounds in O2? Let me look at that. That's less than that. Looks like it's less than that. 7 pounds. 68 versus about 2. Less than 8 pounds? Yeah. And the H2 is down a little bit. It looks like it probably needs stirring. Okay. 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 You go on? Yep. Now, is that uh, dotted line there back in the uh, consumables what you expect nominally? This time is that the nominal? Is that the nominal? What's the dash line there, John? That's the firm part. That's the nominal. Okay, so what you're saying is we're above nominal in both H2 and O2. H2 and O2. We 
uh, were better than nominal. Let me check that. They may have split that line down based on the actual list. Okay. That's for implied. That line has been adjusted to the list all values. Okay, that's, I'll buy that. Okay. What I'll I'll think we're that. saying, though, is that we don't have any uh, significant heat leak. Is that what you're saying? That's for implied. Okay. And we're using that line on the predicting line. Roger. Okay, that's what we're saying. Okay, that's what we're saying. the red in and red out. Red in and red out temps. Okay. And it's just a spike on the bottom. Bottom one, red bottom one, red out. Okay. This is the flow rate, flow rate, flow rate, pump out pressure. And as you see, all three of those cycle with the temperature. Yeah. This is the water quantity, and that reflects the last dump. It's based on 68. Okay, your next water dump is predicted to be uh, 49 hours, right? That's fine. Okay. Let's go ahead. The next sequence will be on channel 64. Roger. Is that load sharing? That's total fuel cell current at the top. Okay, total current load sharing. Total current load sharing. And inverted temps on the bottom. Okay, uh, what do they read? A, B, C down the line and load sharing? Load sharing. That's one, two, three. So that's one, two, three fuel cells. That's that sequence right there. Okay. Right, three carrying the higher loads. Right, three carrying the higher loads right, because it's the end of the coolant loop. And it's a bit warmer. Uh, Is that your rationale? Well, I don't have a real good rationale for that one. It, uh, Okay, but it's been standard. The three's always run the bit warmer, hasn't it? Yeah, I think it has to do with the bypass on fuel cell three. Just think okay. it's a little higher. Three, just think okay. it's a little higher. Now, fuel cell one is now picking up. Uh, you know, last night they were uh, further apart in load sharing than they are this morning. So they're coming back together, it looks like. So they're coming back together. Right. Let me stand by. Just water right now. It looks like one is running about 30%. And it's picking up about 31. It's about 31. This is running about 33, I guess, on an average, huh? That's firm. That's firm. Okay, and about 36 on uh, 3. Yeah, I think 30, uh, fuel cell 3 picked out about 37. Line out, so Line out, on back down. Somewhere, Somewhere during the night, if you get a chance, I'd like a. <coughs> Better feel as to what your predictions are. Feel as to what your predictions are. Seen so far in these fuel cells. Fuel cells. As far as load sharing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Press on, John. Okay. Press on. John. And the bottom there is one, two, three, and further from top to bottom. Okay. Okay. That's red in and red out. Uh, red in and red out. Uh, Okay, that looks pretty consistent. And the next one is this skin temp. Skin. One, two, and three again. Which okay. corresponds to load sharing. Yeah. This bottom one. What's the curve down the bottom? What's the curve down the bottom? Is that PC? What's the curve down the bottom? Okay, that's the PC. They're running on top of each other. Okay, that's the PC. They're running on top of each other. Okay, John, happy. This is the delta volt curve. And that. All look good, don't they? That's firm, and the purge didn't necessarily change anything, which indicates you got very pure reactants. This is the battery charge we did today. Okay, stand by one. Did today. Okay, stand by one.
It's okay, go ahead, John. This is a charge did on the battery today, and the the hump on the curve there. We just continue to and then pick back up again. I don't understand that, John. Let me try again. Yeah, I can charge amplitude around 1.8 amps and then you just can oh okay you withdrew some power from the battery right and that's why I picked up at a higher point that's firm okay that's firm okay okay go ahead John While you're thinking about that, John, there was some question I noted that I'm not clear on from Cliff's log. Apparently there was some concern down in your area in the battery load sharing during MCC2. Can you say some words on that? Negative. I don't think there's any concern on that. It's due to the fact that we were charging the one battery that took the most load right up to the point. The point. Okay. It was a very hot battery. Roger. This is the uh, amp hour remaining profile. The amp hour remaining profile. All right, plan support one, FAO. Okay, what's our status now? If we lose the, I don't uh, think we are going to have much action tonight. So uh, the next two things that you and I got going looks like is uh, uh, the first two entries right. into the lamp. So the first time, I don't guess there's any much going, but you ought to review the checklist just to okay, see. Okay, a couple other questions. How do you stand? The first entry, uh, cryo plan. Okay, so the, the CSM entry, uh, uh, CSM checklist. Uh, now you take the hardware out and all that. Uh, uh, the other, okay. the LIM checklist, just to see what it says about it. I don't think it says anything. And uh, then, uh, since we might be busy tomorrow night, go ahead and look at the check LIM checklist <clears throat> for the second entry in the LIM and uh, bone up on all that tonight. All right, will do. Keep me busy. Okay, uh, next item, John, MCNW check of the O2 flow. Do you think he's got a good onboard uh, MCNW indication, or do you think that's yeah, I think he does. I think he does. I think he does. Yeah, I think he does. I think about five pounds an hour. And we probably ought to pass that to him. Growth rate, growth flow rate. So could be used as an indicator. No. That's just basing it on uh, what we're seeing on accumulator cycle, what we're seeing on accumulator cycle during the cabin dump, during the cabin purge and without the cabin purge. What you're saying is you'd get the O2 what you're saying is you'd get the O2 flow high indication at around five pounds per hour, right? That's kind of a rough number. Between that's say four, six pounds an hour. That's okay. based on the fact that they based on the Kevin Birch and they fall in about a pound, a pound and a half an hour. The cyclic accumulator when it strokes is right up to the, the peg. And the demand for the cyclic accumulator is about three pounds an hour. It is a thing to search. Okay. Yeah, I want you to jot down just a yeah, short little note on that for the crew and we'll continue to look at it. And monitor it during the various accumulator cycle. Plan two. Go to. The, uh, somebody came here, Mr. C here or something, and wanted a copy of the uh, flight plan. You know, the, the uh, updated flight plan. I wouldn't give it to him because all I knew was that uh, Ken was the only one supposed to get one. Uh, he thought he was supposed to get one. He got mad about it again. Is he supposed to get one? 
Well, uh, you did the right thing, but give him one. Okay. Okay, those are the Span people. I don't. Yeah, well, he said Span's supposed to give a copy, and I said, well, I hadn't heard Span's supposed to give a copy. Okay. So I didn't let him have one. He might get back to you because I told him that you're the one that told us all that. Okay, when he comes back, give him a copy. Okay. Okay, but I'm let those two is all that ought to get those. Yeah, but he said Bob Ward got a copy or something. Well, he kind of was still back to you. Okay, Jonathan. Uh, okay, okay, Jonathan. Uh, were you okay, going Jonathan, to uh, try to make some kind of a check on that flow indicator? Uh, there was another note, Cliff's notes. Cliff's notes sort of left me up in the air. Sort of left me. Are you trying to devise some check to see if uh, it would trigger or if it was working at a what flow rate? I believe it was. I believe it was. On the previous shift, they weren't. Some thoughts to that. What do you think? Let me see if we can just define a test that would, would be okay. of some value. Of some the problem value. is we don't have anything in this place that you can turn on that's really a calibrated flow up in that area. Yeah. Uh, not it's only that, but uh, 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 it would seem that that may be great for one test and one flow. As erratic as that sensor seems to be, may work at five, may work at five may pounds work one at time, other times may not. I don't know. I guess you'd have to have some confidence that you had a confidence more or less permanent type bias on the flow sensor before you'd be willing to spend any O2 to find out. Sure, go ahead, Charlie. Sure. Uh, yesterday, during the period that they were raising cabin pressure to 5.7 for lamp pressurization, the O2 sensor did pay high. If there is some concern that it may have shifted, it's my feeling that if it did shift, this test is only the proof that we got one right now, it could shift further. Yeah, if that's, that's shift, my feeling. If it didn't shift, then we still got it. I'll come back to okay. I'll come yeah. back to you later on tonight. In this. To We're just on. at the beginning of the shift. Uh, Our plans for one right there. now. Go ahead, Did Carter come back there? He wandered back here for a few minutes, but he's not around now. Okay, John, one other item. Okay, John, one other item. All the actions in your area. All the actions. Understand that uh, after they finished changing the uh, CO2 canister earlier this morning, they had a 1.7 uh, millimeters on the uh, PCO2 gauge. Is that correct? That's firm flight. And uh, did it eventually clear up, or what did it eventually problem? clear up, or what yeah, negative is the still reading around? Yeah, negative is still reading around. Uh, what do you count that for? I think just John and I have to live the same. Just John and I have to live the same. Okay, so are you carrying that as a possible instrumentation problem also? That's a firm point. Fire plan support 3, FAO. The problem is, well, there's no. The problem is, I'm going to send these four cops to check this back there. Would you, would you see if you can find Joe Roach? He may be in the span room. Give it to him. We're going to send four copies of the checklist back here. Of a one page thing, the rata sheet. And then give it to some Joe Roach in the span room. Yeah. Okay. FAO five plan two. Go to. Did they uh, update that TV attitude we had or stop their old PTC? Not yet. Okay. CMS, FAO. Go ahead. You still with us? Oh, just barely. Just barely. Is Frank on, bed? Uh, negative. He's over, I think, over somewhere. He's over there somewhere in that area. What's he doing over there? Oh, he's in building he's four. He's in building four. GNC for flight. Hey, GNC what I want flight. you to do, why don't you look at the roll? Hey, coming around to you, Buck. And, uh, uh, and uh, looks like tell you, us when uh, we ought to stop at uh, provided the compensation. 61, whether it ought to be this past, past and 61, or we can wait till the next pass. So it looks like those two items are closed out. Okay. Uh, 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 have you given me your summary? I don't see it on the uh, propellant status. You understand what I'm talking about? I want to stop at 261 for the TV. Gotcha. Right. I don't want to know whether I ought to tell him to okay. stop I'll when take he goes by this time or can he wait another rail? 
Okay, your rate is down like uh, 0 0.28 degrees per second. We'll figure out. Okay. Can you brief me on what the crew's comments were in his onboard PC readings earlier during the mid-course stew burn? Okay, the only comments that I have, the only log here that I have, they reported reading 87 psi. Uh, at that time on the ground, we're reading uh, on the ground 94, 94, I think. We spent some time talking about some time talking about LOI mission rules with the arbitrary 80 PSI number that we have at. Uh, there's no reason to expect that reason is anything other than some bias in what they're reading. The engine itself performed uh, up to the specs, I think. Okay. FAO, this is what is the granularity of the meter? Uh, I can uh, figure it out. Uh, what exact time do you want? You're, you're getting one revolution for every 20 minutes. I think probably like that's in the order of about 10%. One rev every 20 minutes. Uh, Roger. Zero to one so, uh, well, we got a while in. We want to stop about 34 hours. Uh, even. Yeah. So we got a long time to worry about that. Okay. I didn't realize that was that fast. One rev. I guess I was thinking back in that old Apollo 8 days when we went at 10 degrees a second. I'll hear a copy of the traces from that burn if you'd like to see it. Yeah, so I'll take a look at them. Okay, fuck the items, open in your items, open in your area. No, it's been a very quiet day. Okay. Prior to the end of the shift, I would like to see a summary of what you expect to see from a PC standpoint for the LOI 1 and we we are working on that. Okay. Uh, on the RCS flight, uh, the RCS point out that the relative uh, status of it is roughly the same as when we left last night. It didn't uh, get any worse during the day today. Okay, based on the present uh, status, we're still using AC for roll. Okay. I have a write-up that I need a chance to report to you on the uh, fuel cell load sharing. Okay. And I'd like to read that. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Fido Retro. Fido Retro. Hey, by the way, Retro. Go ahead, guys. How's your... Uh, Fly by, man. Still uh, working on it? I'm, I'm, I'm shooting one now. Okay. Retro photo, you call? Yeah, it doesn't want to see the column three of the space. Okay, that's on there. Okay, copy. No, here it is. Okay, copy. No, here it is. Okay.
Yeah. I was just going to look through the real thing, and I'm just probably the only thing. The only question I'm asking is, is it out there? Hey, did y'all got some software way to work out the problem? Uh, uh, it's it's probably open. Happened too. Well, give me the more or less. I looked in it, and it's been opened up. Yeah, you know, it's how you go about doing it. Mean, we don't have that. Go back and look through it if you don't have it and see if it's there. Okay. No, I just didn't come across. I understand that Mr. Long a moment ago. That's the only reason I asked. Okay, let me. We'll look and see if we got it. Okay, I'll look, uh, look through here again and see if I just missed it. I guess uh, the decision is to change it to six, but probably not. Yes. Uh, on the, uh, the activation uh, checklist, uh, the crew is the very last minute now. decided they wanted That's to carry it. Pretty much, I think, what uh, precipitated The only one we had available was the backup item. Okay, leave the checklist alone right now. And so they took the... Uh, Pages 20 yeah, through 80 that flight, uh, whatever it was. got a few other little minus things working the, on here, but I don't think it's uh, worth reporting to you. Out of the backup. Uh, 
Ah, uh, so. So that's why I we don't have one. It does not exist. Well, probably is. Okay. Right. Right. We're, uh, yeah, yeah I've gone well, well, I assume those are the ones that he's been talking about with Fred Okay, the cap firm. Okay. Uh, Nate's saying the Capcom's okay. got whatever's left okay. of it. Okay, Capcom, you got anything open in your area? You know, he brought that back because that was launched to the CSM. Uh, Nate, you're fine. Okay. How about Surgeon? How about Surgeon? How about Surgeon? Go flight. You got anything open in your area, to your knowledge? No, sir, not at this time. No, sir, not at this time. No, sir, not at this time. Be, uh, very, going along very smoothly here. Uh, we're going to have this demonstration, as you know, 5 o'clock of this water filter. It should be very interesting. It's got to prove very late. Uh, most of us haven't seen it yet. Okay. Uh, other than that flight, I don't have anything for you. Okay, procedures, how about you? Nothing. Yeah. How about you? AFD? AFD? Nothing. Okay, Ducky, FAO. Anything coming up in your... Anything coming up in your... Negative flight, we have TV at 34 hours and a 10 hour sleep period starting 37 hours and that's it. Good night. Okay, Capcom's got the TV attitude and I understand that's been going over with Ecom and he's happy and Capcom at your convenience. You can pass that up. I don't see any reason to send it up there. Okay. Okay. Might have a few okay. other things wired on and get them all at once. Okay, we're going to stop the ATC. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to cause any significant delta in RCS. I'll talk that over with uh, GNC, but I don't think PC is any discernible. Usage of RCS getting into and out of PTC here. Okay, we ought to. Uh, okay, we ought to. Uh, how we're going to stop it? Gotcha. FAO, you got anything else? Negative. Let me ask you a question. During the TV stuff on uh, Apollo 10, did we do it while we were in PTC? That's uh, firmly why we did this, Capcom. We did some of it. Uh, it uh, turns out you can get about 10 minutes worth at uh, three tenths of a degree, three tenths of a degree, rather than the window. And or the, when you don't have either one, you can put it inside. Uh, but you got the high gain. You can do it, you can get the high gain. Yeah, I think it's going to really be a function of uh, how well we're we coding in there. In fact, we got a good PTC going, and they've got to stay with it. Okay, then it might change the time that this TV pass starts, and it's depending on when the high gain comes into view. Okay, good point. Glad you brought it up. Glad you brought it up. I think it'd be easier for them, really, if it's not going to cost us anything, just to stop the PT. Yeah. 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 yeah, this roll rate would have about 12 minutes of coverage and 10 minutes of uncoverage. On a high gain. So you'd have 12 minutes of TV and 10 minutes off. Network, you got anything happening down in your area, and how's the Goddard CP? Goddard CP, back up, they look good, and uh, we're all go, right? Okay, what happened to the Goddard CP? I haven't got a full story yet. Uh, they were having some problem with messages queuing up, uh, low-speed messages, and they wanted to do a recovery, like a buffer overflow type thing. Support to that, they did the recovery, they got into problems. It's just the optimal took my attitude to the... In other words, that six minutes of coverage would be on both sides of that. Back to them. Oh, oh, negative on that. This is optimum for attitude standpoint. This is an inertial attitude to hold. Yeah, but I know. But if you didn't hold attitude, you'd pick up. Yeah, this is a, a point in the window directly at to Earth. Okay. Okay. So it, I guess it's a, what you're asking is probably uh, you have about three minutes either side of this if you were rolling okay, around. Okay. Oh, stand by Oh, pre mid course two. That's the old flight plan too. Okay. If, you, if you want a, an optimum so one, you know you can use the other windows and go from window to window. Oh, now this, no, that's not what this here. attitude is. Okay, guidance down to your area. What do you got going on? Okay, flight. I uh, I have these changes to the in-flights ready to go up. Uh, I just completed that. Uh, a new Delta H computation is being made off of the last set of P23s, which were done today. And I understand those sightings went much better. Sightings yesterday's better. And uh, 
We had one uh, open item, uh, pre-launch, uh, pre-launch, uh, the LGC erasable, the landing radar uh, body positions that go in erasable. We have been trying to get some resolution on that, and we have a partial resolution, I guess, at this time. They tell us they're going to use the nominal mission design values, but we do not have the octal yet. To, to load in flight. We do know to load into a light. Where do you get those from? They will come from the, our software people, and I believe they're getting them in turn from Grumman. Grumman has been doing the resolution on the problem. You say there's not anything loaded right now? Yes, there is something loaded now. Okay, I want to go over that one very carefully. Got open flight. Go ahead, fly. When are we going to have an answer on that? Uh, let me check on it, flight. I'm not. I'm not going to get old right. Okay. Before you do that, you got anything else before you? I don't believe so. Not at this time. I have this uh, this uh, read up of the changes to the airing flight array. Supposed to be airing flight array. Okay. Due to the fiber uh, again. Pippa changes. That's right. And also, it, um, one of the changes is the TFM which could establish an actual liftoff. Okay. Oh, I have. I do have one other thing, Flight. In terms of the estimation on the Delta H number, uh, won't be ready probably until 33 or 4 hours or something like that. Okay. Whatever, how are you doing down there? Waiting for some tracking data flights, and we should have an update here in a few minutes. Uh, the thing we're going to be doing with the shift is evaluating mid course 3, 4, and LOI, etc. Right now, there's uh, a little bit of question, uh, a little bit of question exactly what mid course number 2 was. Uh, Take mid course two and the VGs, the, the VG confirmation of it, uh, we can get uh, mid course uh, mid three course of 1.2 feet per second and a mid course four of 5.3. Like like and I don't like you one of those. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, What did you say mid course four was? 5.3. That's if you don't do mid course three, right? That's right. Okay. Based on the downlink telemetry vector after mid course two, uh, mid course four would come out to be about 12 to 13 feet per second. Okay. Okay. So we're really just going to wait till we get some tracking data yeah. and, and work it out. Uh, I, I would like to know. I would like to status of the RCS. I understand that we're uh, still above. Phenomenal. Yeah, we're slightly well above our red lines. Yeah. On this errata sheet you just gave me, like we're down about 371. Okay, that's that's probably going to enter into the discussion of what to do on this. Yeah. Who is that for? Roger. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For the dialing TM vector, what did you get for the mid course? Twelve 
Retro, how you doing in your area? Retro, how you doing in your area? Okay, uh, the block data that's on board is uh, P37, 35, 44, 35, 43, that's uh, post, mid-course. We updated the Delta V. That's all good. That's all good. The weather's good through uh, TLI plus 35, period. And uh, they ran a P37, uh, ran a P39. Yeah. Solution checked on the ground. It all checked very well within the college. Okay. Do you have another set of block data going up at 35 hours? Uh, data going up at 35 hours. Uh, five hour flyby. Uh huh. And it's uh, running nine and ten feet per second. That's what I'm Okay. 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 Okay.
on to kill the PTC here, notice the PD attitude, and then reestablish PTC. Are you talking about three, four pounds? Uh, no, I just off the top of my head, that'd be more like a pound or a pound and a half. Okay. But depending on how slowly they do it. If you like, we can run it back through all of the, the numbers and try and get an accurate one. No, I think that it'd be. No, I think that it'd be. I think it's so far down on the noise level that I don't think it'd be worthwhile. You can see for flight. Have you got a nominal total RCS? Nominal total RCS. Around that you're plotting the present total is against. Are you doing it only in a quad basis? Quad basis. No, we have total. Okay. No, we have total. Okay. There it is. Fido Retro. Go ahead. Okay, where Go ahead. is the yellow white white back up five hours? I've been using seventy hours in five minutes. That's a good turn. That's what it's time. Mm -hmm. That's what it is in flat plan. We might as well just leave it back. Is that what it is in flat plan? Seventy six five is uh That's one that goes forward. Okay. Econ span. I just want to get a feel for the red lines where we stand. And I don't see any reason not to break off the PTC and break off the TVSC for this pass. Looks like we're pretty healthy in all of our red lines here. It looks like the P23 was probably the actual P and E is the thing that set us a bit behind, but I don't see any non nominal usage. Over and let's put this way that would indicate that we um, we expect to continue going down lower our down lower and lower here. It looks like we're pretty much following the flight plan right now once we get through that original delta we had back around ten hours. Uh, yeah, I expect it probably will uh, start to converge a little bit. Yeah, I think it will too. Capcom for flight. Go flight. If you want to, you can probably give us an update on the original load. Give us on the TV attitude load now, and we will break off the PTC for the TV. Okay, how do uh, we got uh, Gen C uh, inside high C? Uh, I assume he's going to use the uh, nominal.
FAO flight plan one. We'll get a recommendation. Go one. Uh, Mr. Savely back here and says that uh, the Delta H update mm -hmm. will not be able to be done until sometime after 53 hours GET because MIT won't have their results until then. And then they have to talk it over before they, they come up with an answer to, of what to do. So it'll be sometime. I guess almost late to tomorrow afternoon, probably. Late tomorrow afternoon before they can do anything. He comes, man. Procedures, bunker deck. Go. Need anything from uh, Ascension working areas? Negative. Thank you, sir. Negative. Ecom and GNC procedures. Do you need anything from Canaries or Ascension? Flight GNC. Go GNC. During a previous shift, they had already recommended to the crew how to stop this. FAO flight plan one. How was that? By using the amended checklist. Okay. Go. Okay. There's somebody on the phone back here that wants to talk to someone in regards to a checklist change. Are we the right people to talk to? Go ahead. Hey, can you come on just a second? Let me checklist. Who are you? Who is it? Hey, uh, this is FP. One of our photography guys, camera guys, over building 45. Somebody contacted him, and they're working something over there in 45 on the checklist. I don't know what in the world's going on, but he wanted to talk to somebody over here about something that might be wrong in the checklist. I don't, I don't know who to, help, who to stick them on. That's all I want. Yeah, tell them to call us. Call Apollo 11 Houston. Call Apollo 11 Houston. We got a TV attitude for you and also an update to your CNC erasable load and your ultimate contingency checklist. If you could break that out, too. Over. Roll 261 pitch. 
zero niner zero y'all zero 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 high gate angle standby two h plus two h y'all two seven one that puts the left hand on the pointed at the earth pointed at the earth we recommend exiting ptc with your updated procedure in the checklist over procedure in the checklist over That's permanent. Guidance Capcom over done. Hey, again, uh, uh, these, uh, uh, these, uh, load a, uh, load a, uh, I got a couple questions on stopping the PTC. It seems to me the easiest way to stop it would be, uh, we're essentially, of course, that, uh, do a great job. Agree with all that? No, like pretty straightforward. No, like pretty straightforward procedure. GNC. Semi flight. Okay. Discuss whether you got to turn the thrusters on first or not. Okay. How about uh, going Excel command, turning on the command, and then going right command? That way you won't uh, fire an uncoupled, won't get any uncoupled rotation. That's what we're discussing. That's what we're discussing. And that certainly sounds better. Here, here Buck's back. Let him do the talk. Okay, fine. Start flying Zeros for line three. 
line four is two zero zero one seven. Line five. Line five. Two zero six one six. Over. Okay, GNC flight. Let's go through the uh, coming out of the PTC. Okay, flight. I think what he wants to do is go ahead and follow the amended checklist when he gets to the roll and when he gets to the roll attitude, he wants to get a hold of the and sort of rate command. Okay, so that's the cell command. Okay, so that's the cell command. Okay, so that's the cell command. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Okay. Capcom, why don't you recommend that to him? I'll see if we can get a bit of discussion here. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Hello, Apollo 11, Houston, with a recommendation on the exiting PTC. Over. Go ahead. Thank you, Mike. We'd like to see you go to Excel Command on the manual attitude switches, then to turn on the auto RCS select switches, and then go right command. That will prevent us from uh, firing a jet uh, uncoupled. Over. Okay, fine, and uh, I would guess go rate command and roll first and then followed by pitch and jump. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, that sounds good. Copy, uh, GNC. If, uh, and when you get to the roll attitude yeah, desired, go command command just uh, go rate command at that time, and uh, it'll stop us right on. Yeah, I agree. That's yeah, that's okay, fine. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right. Like, uh, I think we'll just accept uh, what pitch and yaw that gives us. Right. Yeah, you ought to be close enough. Thank 
Capcom G and see me on systems one. Okay, so if he cycles from the uh, spacecraft controls for a Okay, he cycles from the uh, spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the uh, spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second. Okay, he cycles from the spacecraft controls for a second
That's not a big problem, though. Tell me the uh, second digit, uh, O2 in uh, row A, first of all. O2? Yeah. It's the same as it was. What was that number, though? Oh, 01452. Okay, thank you. Now the other one. 
Okay, row five used to be seven six one three three, and it's now oh one oh four two. Copy. And oh seven used to be oh one seven five four, and they updated to oh oh two five six. Go. Eleven used to be seven seven four three two, and they updated to three ball seven zero. Three ball seven zero. Roger. Well, we got a constant overcast here in the room. Uh, we'll see. You're right there. Stand by. Okay. Twelve is used to be seven seven six six three, and it's now three balls forty two. Thirteen is now uh, seven 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 three zero. Stand by, I'll find out what they are. Cal Evan Houston, uh, Cal Evan Houston, uh, several of our guys just came in from outside and said it's uh, pretty clear off the center here. All the cleared up moved completely, all the storms have moved on. Okay, good. FAO 5.1. Go. I'm going to be off the loop for a couple minutes, get something to eat. Okay. You need to let them eat? CMS. Go CMS. Okay, they updated the triple uh, Y scale factor, the triple Z scale factor, and all three gyro compensation terms. Okay. And they had to make sure that, of course, it was in the onboard data. Very good. Look, is it clear? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, as usual. Uh, right. The, uh, about what? It looks like you're uh, 
It looks like they're uh, the clouds just to the west of the Sierras, uh, northeast Bakersfield a little bit. And uh, when I was driving over into the Mojave from Bakersfield, it looks clear, and then if you get on further to the southeast of there, there's a few clouds. So, Roger Levin, can, uh, can you pick out uh, Edwards in the section? Over. Yeah, one of four taxis. Yeah, one of four taxis out the window and they're going to have a nice pretty view of the ocean. Yeah, they're going to be looking at the best life they were. <clears throat> That's right, all of South America will be gone. At 30 hours, it would have been a beautiful view. Hey, you'll have to talk to the TV producer about that, Frank. <laughs> Roger that. Tell me. Maybe we'll do better next time. Yeah. Do you have one of these books? Uh, we have one around here somewhere. Somewhere. Right? Just the fact was at 30, you had the whole of North and South America lined out across there. 
I think the time was probably picked out uh, uh, to coincide when the, when the most public people are looking at the boob tube, would you believe, in the continental United States, which is like 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Right. I agree there. They have to fit it in around the Lucy show or something. Like Penny, fault, right? On the wrong day or something. I'll come from Flat. No comment. Just come up here a minute.
Do you want to punch your compadre there? Joe, I've got to ask people flight. Take it for a few minutes. Take it for a few minutes. I want to talk to Garmin here and guidance and control. You guys got a minute? Roger. Okay. We're going to try to give you five format five. Let's say in the case that we have three high speed telemetry lines to fail. Yeah. So what what are the background of what? I say four because somebody stated it. But I don't know whether telecom has it. PAO network.
be okay on it. Uh, what, do you, what do you need? Twenty-seven forty. Right. I'm not right at 28. Well, I think low points. Well, I think low points. Sorry, guys. Okay, that match is good. You call me up to your loop. You know what kind of date he had then, John? You know, I mean, you know, the relish study or good? Or, yeah, it must have been good. We had Okay, uh, this is, uh, probably good. And we would. We're going to do that. Give me time and we'll, I'll find it.
kick off the season, Marco One. Yeah, with this time, playing with Valentina. So we get some more of that. I think that's going to fail him right out there. Can I get a ration now? CMS, FAO. CMS. And uh, I know you don't know anything about the LGC, probably, but I'm going to send you a proposed change to the LGC erasable. You might have your LMS friends when they show up look at it and see if it sounds reasonable. Okay, that's that radar thing. Yeah. Okay. CMS, FAO. CMS. When's he going to get a background to 260 again? Number one. Oh, I had something on. Yeah, okay, we're going to get a guy out of right now. Okay. About five minutes and uh, 40 yeah. seconds. Okay, so he needs to make one more circle, huh? Or two more. Right. Two more. Should be about uh, 33, 25, 53, somewhere around there. Okay. It's probably his option when he breaks it, either in the next circle or two more from now. See you, Go CMS. Go CMS. Okay, I got that LEM thing. The, uh, I'm sure we'll agree with it. I'll make sure that LEM guys get it. I was in on some of this little conversation. Okay, and uh, they're going to uplink it. They're going to uplink to the reservoir so the crew won't have to do anything. They probably need to be, I don't know whether they even need to be told or not, probably so. But well, the, I think the best that they tell, they'll ask what you're putting in because they'll be able to tell the difference. Okay, and they're going to send it up when they send up the limb pepper uh, bias in the activation sequence. Excellent. Good time. In that case, if you're sending a PIPA biases like that, you may not even have to tell them. Okay. Pipeline 1, FAO. Port 1, FAO. Go, FAO. Are you there? Yeah, I just had the wrong thing called up. Hey, uh, flight director has asked that we make a big note in a flight plan when, uh, and I'll coordinate this with God and said, well, everybody wants to make a big note in the flight plan and when we send up the lamp pepper bias and activation, then we also send up these erasable 
uh, parameters that I just sent back to CMS. Okay, you want to put that in the, into the flight plan for a batch of harmony? Under the two, then. Yeah. All right. I'll write myself a note. This is for what, the second second day or the third day? No, this will go up on the, the last time in the land before the landing. Okay. A landing activation. All righty. Intend up like that stuff. Or you got stuff, 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 or you got your pivot bias stuff, or you got your permanent fly. Okay. Well, you've also got another pivot bias update or possibility at 99 hours prior to undocking. Okay, I think, uh, stand by just a minute. I'll give you a plan out here. We didn't talk briefly about it. Briefly about it. Probably get it the first time. Yeah, I think 99 hours. Where you get your LGC of four times, you get your LGC of four times in there, and it's probably. Guidance, FAO. Go ahead on Mocker Dine. Okay. Why don't you do that at, at 99, like you said? Yeah, I think that's. I'm trying to remember. We had talked about where we would do it if we had to do it, and I. The GEP times we didn't talk in terms that we just said that it's convenient to do it, you know, the PIPA bias update form without, without perturbating anything. Okay, we got one that, uh, yeah, I'm like 99. I'm thumbing through here. Page 66, I uh, can. I'm almost there. Yeah, right, with all, uh, yeah, that's fine with us, no problem there. Okay, we'll write that in there so we don't forget. Okay, and I'll make another the log and tell everybody. Okay, very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The 99 hour point, the 99 hour point. 99 hours, right? Right. Okay. okay. And Holloway's got it in the flight plan. Yes. So all three of us now have got that so we won't forget it. Right? Okay, and I will get it. I will pay it on to all the proper people. Roger. CMS, FAO. CMS. What's a proper name for that? Landing radar body mount angles. We've already been talking about it back here. All you'd have to say is update LR body monitor angle. LR body what? Body mount. M O U N T. Surgeon recovery mileage. Surgeon recovery mileage. FAO to CMS. Go oh, CMS. You want to change that to 4734, somewhere around there? 4734. Roger. Go ahead. Be about 25 minutes. You're predicting it to near a second now, huh? Right. You guys are taking a poo on it back there? Right. We didn't account for the nearest mean to thing here. <laughs> and this last year is a leap year. Going on forward. Right. Hey, how about yours? Well, I'm, every time I get started, yeah, I've almost got them. Darn. Yeah? Yeah, I've almost got them. Back up the line, too, huh? Yeah, I'll have that for you.
flight network. Go Stones is leaving FM. Roger FM. Roger Retro. Go ahead, guys. Let me confirm the ad. Looks like we must be getting pretty close to our TV time, huh? Y'all 312, roll 029. Hey, Retro. Go, guys. QDC align angle. Go. Pitch 144. It's 41 FL. Go, FL. Be off the console for five. All right. Flight FL. Flight FL. Flight FL. Go up now. Five. Five, go. Capcom Network.
Radio Network. This is Radio Network. This is live TV from Goldstone at the present time. Yeah, I don't have any control over that chip. I don't have any control over that chip. Come from flight. He come from flight. He come from flight. He come from flight. Go flight. We locked on on the stirable now. Negative. Bobby. Fixing the Omni Delta, and we'll be back around the high game in a couple, three months. Okay. Okay. We modulating the TV now, to your knowledge? Okay. Not to my knowledge. Okay. Not to my knowledge. Somebody. Okay. I think somebody's getting faked out by what we're seeing. We can be you how you can act on Okay. Encode says 47 MPR. GNC from flight. When it gets around to his high gain, uh, roll to his high gain there, uh, roll to 61. Why don't you watch it as he uh, starts coming out of PTC? Okay, that's uh, enough. Stay on your toes for any unusual jet fires. Stay on your toes for any unusual jet fires. Watch it. I call Capcom? Yeah, network, please. My loop. Okay. Hello, Apollo 11, Houston. Hello, Apollo 11, Houston. Go ahead, sir. Roger. Latest on Luna 15. TAF reported this morning that the spacecraft was placed in an orbit close to the lunar surface. And everything seems to be functioning normally on the vehicle. Sir Bernard Lovell says the craft appears to be in an orbit of about. 62 nautical miles. Over. Okay. And uh, also, uh, and, uh, also uh, President Nixon has reported or declared uh, uh, a day of participation on Monday for all uh, federal employees to enable everybody to follow your activities on the surface. Uh, many states and city governments and businesses throughout the country are also giving their employees the day off, so it looks like you're going to have a pretty large audience for the 
GDA. Okay, I'll see you next. Go, see We're just talking about we probably won't be here Monday since it's the day off. Uh, I see. <laughs> it's going to be empty back here. <laughs> the president says. Unless we get color TV when I <laughs> I know you guys are going to beat you off with a stick when they get ready to do that on you, but... <laughs> you bet your boots. Network for flight. Network for flight. Flight now. Roger. It's Goldstone. Set up now. Gold. Pick up this TV within the next four or five minutes. That's the permanent. Okay, because I assume the crew, as soon as they get into attitude, they're going to get stable now. They get stable now. So make them up there. Early. Is he going to stop it this time, you think, CMS? No. I think he's going to let it go, huh? Well, he stopped it this time. I wait until about eight minutes after. He stopped it now. I wait until about eight minutes after, nine minutes after. Looks like he's going to wait till after. He's going to let it go. His procedure now is Excel command, bring his auto RCS thrusters on, cycle on spacecraft control switch, yes, yes, and then back to CMC and then into rate command, right? Right. Okay. Okay. Light NC, go. That procedure will give him an attitude that's two or three degrees different in pitch in the office. Yeah, that's okay. It's within the ballpark. Right. PTC again.
<clears throat> see him as if I will. Yo, I think he's gonna stop it this time. Well, considering the captain is asleep and the rest of the people are just lazing around in there. I don't know, it sort of gave you the impression that they might be getting ready to go after that last pass where they were playing with it. Didn't. I really I still got stop it on the Yeah. Go, GNC. Stop. Yeah, I did. Okay. Looked like a nice okay. clean cut off there, GNC. Yeah, yes, it did. Light okay. thrust firing wasn't excessive. How many did you see? Can you count the pulses? Count them on the chart. Great. Then tell me how many pounds of propulsion. Tell me how many pounds of propulsion. Okay. Ounces. Pounds. Ben. Pounds. 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 FAOFD2. Go to. If you look at channel 3, you can see the register 1 and 2. That's the uh, pigeon yawn as antennas. There he is, 28. Close, close to me. 
271, he'll try to get in there. Okay, what did you give him? 28 and 271. Okay, you do good work. He'll begin to believe us maybe after about 10 days. Yeah, for yourself. Apollo 11 Houston, we had to stop in the PTC. Uh, attitude looks good to us. Uh, I think I'd like to get a contact. The last couple of uh, transmissions from the spacecraft have been uh, uh, garbled uh, from especially Buzz. Uh, could you both give me a contact? Over. Roger, Charlie. Buzz here. Ready? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Roger, uh, you're about four, uh, Roger, by, with uh, four uh, by with a uh, slight uh, decrease, increase in uh, volume, uh, sort of a, uh, a weighty volume to it. Over. Okay, I'm my mic around. Uh, how about now? Is this any better? Hey, that's beautiful right there. Thank you. Okay, okay Charlie. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. How do you read me? Roger, bye bye. Okay. Is Neil on? Uh, 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 Roger, Neil. Goodbye, bye. Capcom network. Capcom network. Point one, FL. No, FL. Have you heard anyone say whether he's on the high gain yet or not? Uh, CMS just said he's on the high gain. That's just went to it. He's been on the high gain about five minutes. We were listening to the Goldstone site.
Goldstone, I assume, is configured and looking for the TV downlink? That's affirmative. Okay. Uh, flight, are we all configured for the TV? Could they start whenever they want? That works. Right. 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 Okay. Right. Okay. Oh, Apollo 11, Houston. We got the network all configured for the TV. You can uh, start anytime you want. Over. SK11, we have a picture. We see the Earth right in the center of the screen. Over. Houston, uh, the uh, definition is uh, pretty good on our monitor here. The color's not too uh, varsity, at least on this set. Uh, could you describe what you're uh, looking at over? All right, you're seeing Earth at uh, our left hand window, just a little more than a half Earth. We're looking at uh, we're looking at uh, The 
Thank God went to uh, the West Mont U.S., San Joaquin Valley, the Sierra Mountain Range, Peninsula of Baja, California, and the subclass formations over southeastern U.S. There's one, uh, there's one, uh, one definite uh, mild storm southwest of like Alaska, like, like about uh, 500,000 miles, and another uh, very minor storm showing uh, the south end of the street near the, uh, oh, a long way south of the equator, probably uh, 45 degrees or more south latitude. Can pick out uh, the ground. The brown uh, pretty well, and pretty well. The green do not show up very well. Uh, some green showing uh, along the uh, northeast, northwestern coast of the United States and uh, northwestern coast of Canada. All right, eleven. It's uh, all right, eleven. It's a uh, pretty good picture on clarity here. We're having. Uh, can you tell us? Uh, it appears to us that there are two distinct uh, cloud, form uh, cloud formations uh, trending uh, east-west, one approximately about along the equator and one around uh, 30 uh, or so uh, south latitude. Uh, is, could you tell us exactly where those cross the, the uh, land masses are? Oh, uh, yes, they, they cross uh, just
11, that's a pretty good roll there. Houston, uh, here's to us that uh, we're seeing a view from outside plus a little of the, uh, of the inside. We're taking the camera away from the left window. Now, over. Uh, 
11 uh, Houston. Uh, it's, uh, we have a beautiful rainbow there, and as you move the camera around uh, rapidly, uh, that looks like the star chart coming into view now. Over. Yeah, those are both two star charts that he uh, is using right now as sun shades over the uh, right hand window, window number five. Uh, Roger, we see the sun shining in through it behind him and uh, plotting out the uh, uh, equatorial uh, correction and eclectic plane and uh, the stars that you're using for the navigation. You're right. Yeah, really need to chart. Yeah, really need to chart. You've got to memorize this just for show. Uh, we got the well, we were uh, pointing up in this direction, the out our side window, the out our side window, the sun going by, and of course, out one of our windows right now, we've got the very fine window, right behind my window, we have the sun, the sun is illuminating the uh, star chart line, and this line represents the eclipse plane, and uh, these lines, vertical lines, represent our uh, reference center. Time. We approach the moon. Uh, the moon will gradually grow larger and larger in size, and eventually it will be in the eclipse. It will be eclipsing the sun as we go behind it. We approach the lunar orbit very soon. All right, eleven. Uh, could you we've uh, focus, could you focus test there. a little bit better focus there, eleven over. Eleven Houston, uh, that's um, a lot better on the star chart now. We can uh, make out the ecliptic plane and the uh, the planets and the the sun and the moon as it uh, as they draw uh, places uh, throughout the ecliptic plane. Over. Okay, Charlie, that's uh, that's better. Eleven Houston, uh, that's Get some of the wires untangled here. We'll uh, give you a demonstration uh, of how easy push-ups are up here. Evan Roger. Ah, uh, get to do a buzz there. doing it that way, why we just roll over and do it the other way? All right, we got it. Just figure out whether that was a chin-up or a push-up. Just take your choice, I guess. Roger. Roger. 
11 Houston, we see a box full of goodies there, over. Oh, we really have them, Charlie. We've got all kinds of good stuff. We've got coffee up here in the upper left and uh, various uh, breakfast items, uh, bacon uh, in little small bites and uh, beverages like uh, over the center part. And over the center part, we have, uh, oh, all kinds of things. Let me pull one out here and see what it is. Right. You're looking at uh, chicken stew here. All you have to do is hot water, three ounces of hot water for five or ten minutes. Now we get our our hot water out of a little spigot up here with a, uh, a filter on it that filters any gases that may be in the drinking water out. And uh, we just stick the uh, the end of this little tube in the end of the spigot and uh, pull the trigger three times for three ounces of hot water and then slice it up and slice the end off it. There you go. Beautiful chicken stew. Sounds delicious. So far it's been very good. good. So far it's been very good. We couldn't be happier with it. Roger. Last slide a second. The surgeons are saying thank you there for that. And uh, it is sort of down in a dark corner, so uh, we have a flashlight here to see if they help us, uh, see things. And uh, if I can let go of it carefully, it'll uh, hold itself right where it is. Ah, uh, Roger. Ah, uh, Roger. As long as it's there, but well. Paul, I mean, you said pretty good demonstration. You started out really stable there, Mike. It's, uh... Roger, Roger. Well, the problem is, no matter how carefully you let go, uh, you bump it just a tiny little bit and set it in motion, and uh, once in motion, there she goes. Try that again. It looks, uh, it looks uh, fairly stable now with slow rotation. Houston, Roger. Slowly sinking into the sack there. Houston, uh, could you give the folks a, uh, you give the folks a uh, view of your uh, patch if, uh, on your CWGs, over? Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Stand by, Winter. I'm going to try to give you a close-up. All right. Eleven, uh, Houston, uh, we have the patch. Uh, could you attempt to improve the focus slightly? Over. Eleven, Houston, the scan on the camera. Uh, uh, makes the. Uh, uh, that's a little bit better now. The uh, flashlight seems to flicker uh, due to the scan on the uh, TV. We can't see the eagle. Uh, now, nah, that's a, uh, a little bit better, over. Could you open the end stop uh, a little bit more, over? Okay, uh, Paul Allen uh, Houston, uh, the color's uh, better now. It's coming in, uh, we could uh, attempt a little bit better focus uh, on there it. We go. Uh, our focus is, uh, uh, there we go, our focus is uh, a lot better now. We see the eagle uh, coming right in on the lunar surface, over. Uh, that's very good now. Uh, that's very good now. Uh, that's very good now. Apollo 11, Houston, that's very good now. Yeah, we can Apollo see the Earth in the background. And Apollo the 11, the and the Eagle coming in. Charlie, for you, Archie, see the Charlie, for you. Roger, it is. Well, that's what he has in his talent, is the knowledge, Brent. Copy. Apollo 11, Houston, uh, we're really impressed with the clarity and the detail that we have in the picture. The, the colors are, uh, now it's a really an excellent picture now that which I'm looking at on our monitor, which is before the, uh, before the uh, networks uh, can uh, get it out due to the uh, conversion that we have here on our TV. Uh, the, uh, we're looking at the uh, uh, controls and display the main display console and we can see the uh, disc uh, up on the, the panel over. Thank you, 
Yeah, I might as well uh, tell the ECOM or tell the GNC and everybody to hold out their hand and I'll push the enter button. Right. 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 We see a real display now. That's a good demonstration of how our crew has the interface with the computer talking to the uh, programs and all that we have in the computer. Well, that's right, Charlie. Sometimes we tell us things, and sometimes we tell us things. Mostly it talks to us. I love it. Used to Houston, we just lost our big guy. I see we're going back outside now. Over. Eleven, Houston, you copy over. Graduate copy. Graduate copy. And uh, yes, uh, we can pan back out to uh, the distance at which we see the Earth. Well, uh, Apollo 11 signing off. Roger, Apollo 11. Thank you much for the uh, show. It's a real good half hour. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Al. Okay, all flight controllers, let's get reconfigured, take a good check over the systems, and let's get ready to start getting this guy to sleep shortly. Okay, that's it, Charlie. Uh, 11 Houston, we appreciate the show. Thank you very much. Over. Flight guide. Go guide. Uh, we'd like to have a pit air reset on the disc to clear the some downlink registers. When you run the self test, it gets uh, gets a couple of program alarm registers filled up. Clear so we can clear, like clear so we can find any program alarm. So just air reset. Apollo 11, Houston, uh, would you see air reset on the disc, please? Over. Flight GNC. Go GNC. Yeah, I would recommend okay, flights that we just use the attitude he's in now for the next DTC. It's only out a couple of degrees to touch. You can just call up these, reload them as desired angles, go to normal PTC from here. Okay. He's very stable in this attitude. Okay, so you're going to recommend it. Okay, so you're going to recommend that we start our next PTC from this attitude. Before we start it, are there any vents, dumps, or anything we want to do before we get started? Flight plan one, FAO. Econ from flight. No flight. We don't have a water dump for a while, do we? I think it would be the fastest. Okay, you got any O2 purges or anything you want to get done prior to the time we get into PTC here? Uh, yeah, 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 Well, Buzz is doing that, I'll see. Let's see my drug test. Right. 
Okay, Tom, why don't you watch, see what your PCO2 does now. They're going to change lithium hydroxide canisters. All right, fine. All right, fine, one, FAO. Hey, he's still not here. Ah, he missed his chance. Pipeline 2 FAO. Let's go. Hey, would you guys go verify that the, the TV cables are indeed long enough to get through the tunnel and get into the lens? I mean, for tomorrow's TV? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we don't have to go very far in the lens. If we could get it just down inside, you know, we would probably do something with it. Okay. Houston, over. Go ahead, Houston, Apollo 11. Uh, Roger, Buzz. Uh, the attitude that we're in right now is a convenient one to start PTC in. We'd be satisfied with this attitude. So we'd like you to disable Quad, Charlie, and Delta, and we'll wait about and we'll wait about five to ten minutes, and then we'll establish the PTC. Over. 
not your disabled Charlie and Delta, and we'll wait for our starting to do. Right. Okay, GNC, where are we? Are we in our 20 minute wait period now? Uh, uh, I think probably five minutes will be adequate. Okay. Uh, flight half at uh, laser. That's just what we're talking about right now. That's just what we're talking about. Checkpoint complete, Mark. Retro, you got your block data. Retro, you got your block data for LOI. Capcom, you got it? Right, I already got it. Right, already got it. Right, already got it. Okay, everybody, we got about one hour prior to the time we want to close them out for their eat and pre sleep checklist. So anything you got. Checklist, so anything you got. Support 2, FAL. Support 2 is off the console at the moment. 
Okay. So anyway, Pedro, go. Uh, I just heard someone say terminate purge at 44. Is that like 34, 44, or 44 hours, or what? Yeah, they just did a purge. Is that O2 purge? Yep. Okay. Missed your chance one there, you know. I probably want to know what needs to be done before we start DTC and use off the console. Was I? I didn't step off, but just long enough to give me some uh, coffee. like they're going to be looking at the uh, laser tonight, maybe. And uh, we need to know when he can see it through which windows when he gets cranked up or what roll line goes he can see it through each window. All right. I, I thought you all made a decision if it's been canceled or not supposed to try it until they come back from the moon. The right or wrong people, depending on your point of view, talk to Mr. Lowe and got that all square away. Oh, since the other day, huh? Roger. Go CMS. Go CMS. Why that thing is damped out? They can start PTC about any time. But on the other hand, it's not costing them anything to sit there, is it? Uh, yeah. They're using fuel as they bang against each dead man, okay? So as he starts the PTC and he turns on those jets, our fuel consumption goes to zero. Okay. FAOFP2. Go, to. Hey, uh, I recommend using the same attitude we had for television in the same window to look at the laser. But then again, it, uh, the whole Earth is during your lit up, as you saw on television. Yeah, I know. I know that. But it's supposed to be available at 36 hours. Okay. Are these other people ready to shoot that laser beam at 36 hours? That's what I understand. I don't know. You know Lynn? Don Lynn? Dr. Lynn? Doc, oh, Dr. Lynn, yeah. I heard of him. I ain't seen him around. Though. He's around here someplace coordinating that. Okay. Like uh, Capcom? Go oh, Capcom. Hey, Gatine, I was uh, having a little note here. Uh, uh, little note here. My Bruce said at the end of the O2 purge, I was supposed to get the LAM CM Delta P reading, and I forgot to do that. I don't know more. I don't know more. Unless it was to calculate whether we were going to uh, have to... Uh, as far as I know, from a standpoint of the uh, LEM, I checked this earlier, that the whole world is happy that the leak rate they see now in the LEM, they reach the uh, proper O2 concentration. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, that is now a closed subject. Great.
He comes. You see your fuel cell purge? That's fine. Okay, how about the CO2 filter change? Partial pressure, did you see any change there? And it's came, come down from 3.1 to 2.4 now. Okay. Okay. Light GNC. Go ahead, GNC. You can continue to spin up the dirt. Convenient. Okay. Okay. What you're saying is make an initiate their roll right now. FAO, flight plan one. Go. Okay. I'm going to be on multi down. Yep. Thank you. Houston, the rates are damped out to, uh, well enough for you to initiate the PTC now. Over. Okay, we'll get it going. Okay, we'll get it going. FAO is science two. Go science two. Yeah, Lynn's back here in the outset room. He's talking to someone on the phone. You want me to have you give me a call in a minute when he's through? Who is, uh, y yes. Roger, you were the one that was looking for him, weren't you? Yeah, one of the guys in the back room was looking for him. I'm back in the flight director's SSR? Yes, sir. Okay, I can send him over there if you want. Okay. If I sing, go. How did I do? That was just a thought. Sport two, FAO. He's off the console at the second. Hey, tell him what I'd like to do when he gets rolling here to find out when the wind is going to be coming around. Look at the earth. You mean at what time they're going to appear each time? Or? Yeah, each one. To... Okay. I uh, shall tell him. You getting your checklist all reviewed? I've been looking at it every time I got a chance. He's beginning to load his PTC stuff. In between uh, coffee breaks, huh? Right, and TV monitor gazing and so forth.
BTC initiate. 3459 even. Looks like you got her started there. Looks like you got her started there, uh, GNC. Why, GNC? Go. Somewhere or another, instead of getting a point three roller, you got a point seven. Yeah, I know that. Roger, go. Roger, go ahead. Okay. All personal suggestions, you know? 
FAO CMS. No. Uh, is anybody recommending they restart the thing or just slow it down? No, they've recommended they restart it. I agree. I agree. I'd like to see that redone and maneuver back to some desired attitude like, uh, well, whatever the role is, 90 pitch. It's really off. Okay. Okay. Okay, just stop uh, flight, uh, Oh. Uh, he, uh, I saw him load a uh, 16, uh, he was looking at uh, 16, uh, I don't know if it was a 20 or 22. Uh, I thought he put it in, uh, I thought he put it in, uh, that's just monitoring, yeah, I know monitoring and then went through the steady period and then into his record loading. Okay. Well, I guess. Go ahead, Yeah, I guess the recommendation here is just to stop this and. Uh, okay. Well, he's done that. He's gone that whole. Back up for forty-eight. Back up the whole. FAO FE two. Okay, but before we do that, let's see if we can find out what went wrong. Okay. Let's see what the situation is. However, he didn't reload it in the round forty-nine. Therefore, let me wait for you. He told the computer to go ahead. AGC CMS maybe a different attitude. It picked up the old PTC attitude, which is somewhat different. Than what a different rate. Uh, okay, Say again. Stand by. FAO's got healing here from his guy in the background. CMS FAO. You guys going to get to talking in a minute? Ah, yeah. We recommend you going back and doing it. We don't know any reason for it except that this jump occurred when he hit the left hander. What jump? Every, all of his procedures in the error that the CMC computes, you know, that it uses to start the rate. It was about twice as big as it should have been suddenly. He suddenly had a change. We want him to start from verb 48 on the procedure in the retro. Okay. Maneuver to roll 45, pitch 90, yaw zero. Does anybody have any way of finding out why this thing didn't work? No, we can replay and make sure he didn't make a mistake on that disky or anything, but uh, I was watching him there and he looked okay. Charlie, they're going to wait until the staples out here, and they're going to load the verb 49 with this present attitude, and then proceed on down the procedure. Okay, do we have to initialize the DAP or activate the, uh, do the verb 48 again? And, uh, and, uh, that goes in there. Okay, we'd like them to start from the verb 40. They're recommending that we do a verb 49 for the current maneuver, I mean, the current attitude, and that's sufficient as long as we do a verb 49, okay? Okay. He should do a verb 48 also. Run through that DAP reload. Okay, right now he has uh, Charlie and Delta disabled the damping, okay? Yeah, I'd still like to know why. Somebody ought to think about why that didn't work. Well, the only way we can check that is go back and get a replay of the data. For one thing, there's no reason that I know of that it. Yeah, I'll get that what rate back. Roger that. He asked for a given rate and it should have been. Okay, flat out. I think I'll go to the crew with this and tell them what we plan to do. Okay. Okay. Procedures, FAO. Apollo 11, Houston, over. 
Houston Bravo 11. Uh, Roger 11. The problem on that uh, initial starting up the PTC was we failed to do the verb 49, which uh, and load the desired initial attitude. Uh, so the that tried to take it back to the old attitude that uh, we had started up in a number of hours ago. That's why we picked up the rates and the other axes. Uh, we're going to wait in this attitude for about 20 minutes to damp out, 20 minutes to damp out the rates again. And then we'll proceed with the uh, for 49 and, the lo and load our attitude that we have at, the time, at this time on Okay, it sounds good, Charlie. When you get to uh, the rear 49, uh, I'd like for you to give me the three gimbal. Roger, we will do. Over. 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 CMS has failed. CMS. Do you and Apollo 11 think that we true? have your flyby? Yes, that's what I was saying. We needed to do the verb 49 to establish a dead band at the position we are now. Okay. Mm -hmm. You really ought to do that before he lets it all down out. That's permanent. We should do that at this moment. Do the verb 48. Start from the top of the checklist and go through it now. Right. AGC on your loop. Go AGC. If they don't do the verb 49 until after the rate stamp out, I hope they're given as the the down 18 to load in the present center of the dead band. Six, two, you're not going to go to the trouble of doing that. Then they should do the verb 49 now. Okay. Plus zero nine or seven. Quite a bit. You really ought to remove the numbers of verb 49 prior to let it stamp out. Zero. Roger. Seven zero. What numbers do you want to load in there? What you're saying is go down the procedure only at the verb 49 right at the beginning. Load the numbers we got right now. Well, he's almost 90 zero and you know, zero anyways. Zero. Zero. Right now, so you can use the nominal numbers. They got a case earlier. Zero zero five ten zero ten three. What we want him to do there is call up the ICDU angle and put those in. Zero 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 zero. Okay, number six down twenty to display the ICDUs. Zero two niner one four one four niner. Load them in the nine twenty two though. Right, just in the nine twenty two in a plus zero zero. Two two one zero 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 zero. We won't get another integration cycle on board. Zero zero one one zero 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 I'm not sure I was there before. I'm not sure that you. Well, I heard of this one. When he goes to verb 49, all he should do is accept whatever comes up in now 22. Yes, I understand that, but he's so close to pitch 90 and y'all zero, which is what we normally use for this. Why don't we go ahead and use it? That's what will come up. That's what will come up. What will come up is. Roll 96.0 and pitch 90 yaw zero. Okay. Four seven. Four seven. In the comments, your set stars are Dunup and Vega. Zero 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 seven one four four six zero six eight. No wallage. No wallage. It's a docked burn. Using the PTC rest mat. Stand by for your read back over. Okay, flight on this. The verb 49, you want him to call up. Uh, verb 6920, I believe it is. 0620. 06 and load those. Let's make sure GNC is right. Give me the GET of uh, .052 gun, please. Uh, Roger. 
four four one four four five six four seven. Over. Roger, bye bye. S B S G N six two eight one five zero nine seven zero nine seven five zero two zero zero seven zero five four five nine or nine four. Zero 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 two eight plus zero 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 two three plus zero 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 six nine six nine one four nine three one two and eight plus zero zero two zero one zero zero seven eight zero 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 seven eight zero zero one zero 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 two four Oh, I just load the zero nine zero 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 because he's almost he's so close to being there that hard as I see to you is going to be bouncing around very slowly. Uh, yes, they will fight. You'd have to load the roll. Thing the one. Yeah, that's the one that really got us in trouble last night. Okay. Three six two two eight one four four. Five, what you're saying is load the roll I C D load the roll I C D and you can just call a ball three uh ride down twenty two and enter and Okay, now you don't want to go back to your verb forty eight, but you're half degree hit that and say that's already in and that's already in. I read zero two nine or over. Okay, where does he pick up in the procedure? Verb thirty seven? First he has to uh, go to verb six down twenty and then pick up verb thirty seven. He's got now twenty up now. Okay. Understand that, GNC? Yes, like that. I uh, really didn't enter into it. Okay, Capcom. What they want? Them to do. Okay, Capcom. What they want him to do is go through the normal PTC initiation procedure. He can pick up. Uh, what they want him to do is read up the verb six noun twenty is present ICDU angles. Load them the verb six noun twenty two, and then go through the procedure. I assume he'd have to pick up at the verb forty nine. Is that right, GNC? Right, fine. Okay, just pick up the... Okay, just pick up the... Uh, okay, just you'd have to call the, up uh, the 621st That's before you call the 49, right? Yeah, right. Well, you can do a noun 22 and enter the ID. You can do a noun 22 and enter the ID. Okay, you lost me. Okay, I got you, Mike. I see. When he does a verb 49 here, he gets the first display as the 0622, and he gets the load, loads what he has in there right now. Right. OCMS. OCMS? Yeah, I was copying that pad. Did you ever do a verb 49? Sure. Uh, did. Apply Capcom? Go. Uh, it's He's waste of fuel. Right 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 so he does that. Know that. Copy those numbers down. Do the verb 49, load those in noun 22, and proceed. Okay. Okay. Let me this to Yeah. Yeah, that sounds correct. Does he load the decimal or does he load the decimal or does he load the octal? No, he loads exactly what he sees. He loads the decimal, okay. he loads what he sees. Okay. We don't want him to uh, on the on the on the next display he'd get is a fifty eighteen. We don't want him to pro on that though, do we? Don't we want it to bypass that? We want to pro on it. 
No, I think we yeah. want a pro. On I think that. you want a pro on that. That's, that's going to get you the attitude. You want to start your 20-minute wait period. You want to start your 20-minute wait period. Get the attitude, then start your wait period. That's what you're trying to do. Apollo 11, Houston, over. Okay, GNC, let's monitor the air ground here, make sure everything goes upstream. All right, Mike, would you please uh, copy down your uh, 16 down, 16 down, 20 ICDU angles now, then to execute uh, verb 49 and load that, those angles, the now 20 that you see on the disk, into the verb, into the now 22 slot. And pro on that, and uh, that'll start our 20 minute rate period over. Okay, Charlie, I'll do that right now. Just a matter of inches. Go ahead and do it. 2 FL. Okay. Okay, what was the video? Okay, Dr. Lee came back here and was talking about this laser deal. And he said, we can't start well, until 8 o'clock our time because the FAA won't get cleared until then. Because it might bump into an airplane, you know, this laser beam and hurt someone's eyes in the airplane. Mm -hmm. So he's checking on that now to make sure that all the flight patterns won't be crossing the laser. In, uh, I uh, recommend that we go, if, if we get clearance then, we can try it about 36 hours. And uh, with an attitude that we had for PTC, for window number one, or the left-hand window. Okay. And he's supposed to see this laser now somewhere near the Terminator. And I've got a flight plan update all ready to go, so we know what time we want to do it. Okay. Right, that's what he's supposed to be there doing. There we go. Right now he's got a tramp to that attitude. 58 Looks great. Yeah, power 11, I've done that. Yeah, power 11, I've done that. And of course, I got an immediate 58 change, so I guess we set up and proceed from here and now start Ready. the 20 minute timer. Ready to go. Excellent. Ready to go. Ready to go. Okay. Ready to go. Roger, we're working on it. Stand by one. Yeah, flight. The explanation there is uh, because he wasn't at the angle that he had to find for the crew defined maneuver, he added the three tenths rate out of what the computer would already try and, you know, try and rate the maneuver to that attitude. So he came off at point 0.7 instead of point 0.3. You know, the normal PTC, he's adding the attitude to these, he's adding the ends there. So you tell it to maneuver at point 0.3, and that's what it does. I didn't, no, I didn't either. No, I didn't yeah, I think I did. That's the information it isn't me. obvious yet to me how that happened. But try it again one more time. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. What you're saying is that uh, since he was not at the crew defined attitude, he hit the proceed initiated roll rate. The computer says, "Hey, I want to get to that attitude before I initiate my roll rate." Therefore, I'm going to figure out how fast I ought to get there. And then you say you add in the three. And then it adds point three on top of that. Okay, that's the only thing I don't understand is why they're adding. I can understand why they're how you'd get something more than point three. But I don't see where they add. Well, that's the mechanism. Point three and two tenths come up. Why would it be more than point five? Well, what we really got read out of that was point six six, I think, and which is still a little bit larger than it seems like it should have had. That's the solution. Okay. 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 Okay.
and see what that came up with. I don't think that doesn't make any sense to me. CMS, FL. Do you hear that uh, explanation for seven tenths? Yeah. That makes sense to you? Sounds pretty reasonable. He had an error in pitch when he started. Yeah. At the same time, well, let me think about it. Here. The commanded rate that the spacecraft was told to maneuver at was three tenths. Okay. Okay. All right. When he allowed it to maneuver by keying the last enter on the last thing, it started at three tenths and roll, and seeing the error that it had, it probably started at three tenths and pitch also. Now, it, how it got up to six tenths kind of gets beyond me. Unless there was some coupling between the other axes into roll. It's like they got the Earth in, like in the uh, sextant or in the telescope. We want to try that later. I don't know they got right now. How do you know they got on the telescope? How do you know they got the They got the Earth in the telescope. Capcom, I think you're operating in shaky data there. Want me to ask them? Want me to ask them? Why don't you get my email? Uh, Are we ready to modulate that? Are we ready to modulate that? About four more minutes. Why don't you just uh, tell them while we're waiting for this 20 minute wait period that. Uh, you could ask them if they got the earth. You could ask them if they got the earth in the field of view out of any of their windows. Hey, can you see the earth? Not this. Sexton, it does take. Let's do it in a more professional manner. Yeah. Through the telescope. Yeah. Through the telescope. Darling, flight say again. Uh, this is eight. We're ready to go. Okay, you got a lot of background noise back there. If you're going to talk on the loop, you ought to make sure there are no speakers back there. No. Negative. That's better. That's better. Okay, we could not see the. Earth through the scanning uh, telescope at this time. Not with zero optics. No, I mean with any kind of optics. Oh! Can you verify that? Or through the correction? Telescope? Okay. Telescope? Telescope? Yeah, why don't you just talk to them and tell them that we got the neat blue laser, blue beam, ready for them. Ready for them. Apollo 11, Houston, over. Can you see through any windows? This attitude. We got a, a little laser visual experiment we'd like to uh, you to do for us. If you, if you got any of your uh, windows or any of your windows or through the telescope, would you so advise, over? The window, the roll angles that you need to see uh, through the windows are 135 degrees, 261, or 215. Right FAL. Right FAL. Okay. We're not in a very good attitude to see through any of the windows. We'd have to be at 135, 262, or 215. Roll. Yeah, According to the angle chart here, like I said, it, it, it should be out plus Z. Do you confirm that too? I wasn't reading now, I was explaining something to somebody. What did he say? He said the Earth should be out the plus Z axis, which makes it so you could see it through the sky and telescope. Yeah, that's it. 
Hello, Apollo 11, Houston, no high gain angle, or pitch, minus 70, y'all, 90. We think the Earth is apparently pretty close to plus the axis, over. Okay. There he goes moving the optical now. Okay. Okay, Charlie, I got you in the telescope. Okay. And he is about one eighty. Right here, Paul Eleven. Right here, Paul Eleven. We got a laser that we're gonna it's a blue green laser that we're gonna flash on and all we're gonna flash on and all at a frequency of on for a second, all for a second. It's coming out of McDonald Observatory uh, near El Paso, which is should be right on the Terminator, or right inside the Terminator. We're going to activate that momentarily. Would you please, uh, take, a Would you please uh, take a look to the telescope and see if you can see it over? Either one over. Two FL. Yeah. Okay, I'll start with a telescope. Could you uh, give him some pitch and yaw? I mean, some. We'll give you the words when they've got it turned on. Shaft trunnions to put the section right on uh, okay. El Paso yeah, or yeah, wherever that is. Or over loop here. That's for about the other thing I gave a call earlier. Yeah, it's going to take me about five minutes to do uh, it. Okay. Uh, let me know when you got the uh, McDonald on. Roger, I'll give him a call right now. Roger. Turn on. They may have a few clouds right now, but I'll give him a call right now. Light FL. So FL. Right. In about five minutes, we could get some shaft and trunnions to put the sextant right on that place. Why don't you go ahead? Why don't you go ahead? Then why don't you go ahead? Then, uh, you go ahead, then uh, 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 we're burning up a bit of time, and we'll spend about yeah. the next thirty minutes at most. Do it. You can see. Let me know when you're happy. It looks like we got about ten more minutes to go. Got about ten more minutes to go. Period here, and then we'll pick up the DC. I'll have it, Houston. They don't have it turned on yet. We'll give you the word when they got it turned on. Over. Okay. Five point one FL. Go FL. How big is the Earth now? Say again. How big is the Earth now in degrees? <coughs> Fuel to be hold one and all. Check that. Did we have to use third cryo in the other thing? Certainly. We saw a pressure drop from about 890 down to 830. Okay, Captain, you want to see if they just stirred the cryos? Roger. That's normal procedure for pre-sleep, isn't it, John? That's probably what he did. That's probably what he did. Did we notice the pressure drop? Yeah, yeah. About eight nine eight point seven. Hello, Paul Eleven, Houston. Hello, Paul Eleven, Houston. We noticed the cryo pressure drop a moment ago. Did you stir up the cryos over? FAO. Right. Copy out. That's it, John. FAO five point one. Oh, it's between four and three degrees. Three and four degrees. Yeah, it was about four degrees at twenty five hours, and about three at fifty. So it's somewhere in between there. Okay. Go recover. Calling flight. Second. Flight recovery. Go recovery. Right. Uh, the Hornet has requested use of uh, 296 FLA from 1500 to 1800 feet. Okay. Any problem? Well, outside of the HF range. Roger. Thank you. Four two FAO. What channel are you working on? He's working on channel eight, and he's talking to the people right now. Pitch ninety point zero. 
Hey Don, how you doing? Hey Don, how you doing? Uh, 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 me. There's a hole in the clouds moving over McDonald's. They're about ready to come on here. Okay, could you give me a call on six three three six place? FEO, FE2. O2. Channel 8. Okay. I picked out the uh, bolt zone because I couldn't find, out, find a latitude and longitude Go ahead. of El Paso. Go down. Uh, I think that's close enough to El Paso. Okay. Flight from A. Go uh, The telescope is beaming the laser. Okay. You're saying you're modulating it right yeah, now. Yeah, that's Okay, Capcom. Good FAO. Okay. 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 What shaft plane he got? Looks like about 137.5 and 40.7 about. Okay. Okay. About a hundred and thirty-seven point five and forty point seven about. Okay, Gary. Hey, it's bluish green. How's that? That's pretty close to plus C. A little bit off. How's that match with your number? Okay, we got one forty-one point. Five and thirty-nine point five. He's so right in that area now. Okay. Flight FL. With God With uh, with uh, one hundred forty-one point five and thirty-nine point five. He's out to be looking in the region of this. Yeah, he's looking at looking at the southwest United States. One forty-one point five and one. What is it? Thirty-nine point five. What is it? Thirty-nine point five. What you got right now? He's pretty close to that. He's pretty close. Got that. Got that. Got that. 137.5 and 40.7. Point 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 about. Guys? Uh, we'd like them to also check the window. There are filters in that window. There are filters in that window. He's not using the window. He's using the optics. If he could check through the window, it would be helpful. can't see it through the window now. See it through the window now. The, uh, didn't you say the? Uh, didn't you say the? Uh, for the sextant, one forty-one point five and thirty-nine point five is the right numbers. Thirty-nine point five is the right numbers. Channel 10, you see the ATU, that's the actual one he's flying to. 
Uh, he's changing his uh, spacecraft attitude, okay, so those shafts and trunnions aren't going to be exactly right. Oh, okay, but he's, he's drifting just at about a hundredth of a degree a second. Okay, dead banning. Yeah, but those shaft trunnions are pretty close. Yeah, that should bring him in there. Rates are low enough to start PTC out. Roger. I was too conservative writing that procedure. I'm going to make it 10 minutes for the yeah. next mission. Captain, uh, 3540, you can break it off. Tell them we're ready to resume the PTC. How do you tell? Uh, you guys keep saying you're ready, but how do you tell what the rates are? Okay, you're that's on your on your on your channel 10. You're all happy, right? Yeah, I see you're all happy, right? Right hand column, ACDU is the actual CDU at the moment. Yeah, okay. The thing slows down so much. Look at pitch. It's 90.55. And it stays there more than 10 seconds at a time. So the pitch is changing less than a thousand to a degree a second. Okay. Roll always has four, uh, two jet authority rather than just one, so it kind of bounces around a little more, but that's alright, because that's the one we're going to whack anyway. Okay, so you just went wide spits and yellow, and if the last digit doesn't change in 10 seconds, you're in good shape. That's perfect. Yeah, I'm a PPC expert now. Doesn't take long at all. Hey, does that mean we can go eat now? <laughs> Roger, dodge it all that. <laughs> oh, wait till he starts rolling. Oh, it, it, when he gets that enter button, we're going. Call Apollo 11 Houston. Call Apollo 11 Houston. You can terminate the exercise on the laser. Our rates are steady enough now for you to come into the PTC over. Okay, you said, uh, either Neil or Mike, you see it, uh, you don't know if you have to try it, uh, just miss pointing at the world. Roger, thank you. Roger, thank you. Okay, uh, guidance, GNC and FAO, let's watch when it starts here, let's watch PTC, let's watch PTC exercise. Scanning telescope, it would be about a third of an Earth, uh, Roger. 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 But we did, but we did identify the Alpha radii and break and across there and break across there and break across there. Do you hear what it said? Yeah. Roger, you look at my computer program at eight. See, it says Earth is calling. Yeah. That means we're pointing at it. Yeah, but look at the attitude. He changed his attitude by one degree. And I don't think that should throw them off. See my attitude that I have right there in the middle? Mm-hmm. It says 4490, okay? Okay. No, that's this one. But, ooh, hey, what happened right? It was about a degree off, but that shouldn't have thrown that far off the Earth. He said a third of the Earth's radii, and it's about two degrees off. Hmm, that doesn't figure. Oh, which what, which direction did he say? He did not say. Maybe it was over where it was dark. Yeah, right there. Okay. Definitely, I'll see you, man. Go. Okay, I'd recommend that uh, if you're going to try to recycle this experiment, you don't use the sextant telescope. Yeah. 
quite honestly, because they really are heavily filtered in the red area, okay? And they just wipe out any blue, blue or green colors. Yeah, that's what I figured. Even if you look through them, I mean, everything is orange. Mm hmm So maybe if those people get another hole in their clouds, they can try again through a window. Okay, uh, flight plan one. Go. I mean, two. Yeah. Go back in the star sighting program and put in 45.2. Go. Hey, uh, can he do that right? Point two. Well, I'm not doing any good unless you give him the attitude. you got to give the backward pointing and give him the uh, RPY and a shaft and trunnion. Yeah, I know, but go back in just for drill and put those in there and see what you get. Okay, I'll see him as he's screwing up. Okay. Uh, he's got to restart all the stuff. Now, there he is. He's okay. I think he caught it. He had terminated that bird 49. It was sitting there on this game. Go flight plan 4. Go flight plan 4. Could you change my roll to 45.2? Looks like you guys got out. Okay. Houston Apollo 11 hour. Right, go ahead, over. Reload the second part. Okay. Following that on the disc. He still had a 5018 left over for the first part. Yeah, I'm not sure what his question is. Flight looks like 49. Before he started loading the race, well, that must be what he. 11, yes, sir. 11, yes, sir. Okay. Put your exact question over. I'm the procedure, uh, 7, down to the point where I got 27, 303, enter, and this is on an operator airline. That's because he loaded a, he tried to load a 918 that won't take a load. Due to the problem that they said. Load all the stuff in verb 24, and he loaded it just like it's in the book. For the no, he didn't. Point three degrees. That's wrong. Well, I don't think he entered. I don't think he entered. That's right, Frank. Yeah, That's exactly what he did. 49. Before we start loading the race, well, that could be why he got up right here. I don't see the I don't see the one. Do you GNC? I don't see anything. Uh, no, I see the, the, the rate loaded in. The rate loaded in. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, what's up, Jay? Here. Yeah, what's okay here? Okay, if he picks it up in the middle of step seven there, we're fat. We're at step seven? Well, do all of it. Just pick up at step seven and do it all again. Okay. His whole flag, the first part, step six, is okay. He got through step six. That's right. Okay, pick up on step seven. That's right. What's he doing now? Sitting there? Yeah, he's sitting there waiting for us to tell him something. The attitudes are still good? Apollo 11, Houston. They look Apollo very 11, stable. Houston, stand by a moment. We'll have an answer for you momentarily. Over. Okay, appreciate it, Charlie. 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 Okay, appreciate it, what did he say? Right. His operator airline did go out. Yeah, and that's back on. Let me correct it. Now, CMS FAO. Okay. Now, uh, where did he not do what right? Okay. Uh, after it says, uh, and step five, damp vehicle rates enter. Mm-hmm. He didn't enter. Okay, he didn't enter on step five. That's right. Now, that, there's no problem, but there's something on your disc key, and it's a verb 50 now and 18, displaying the last angle, okay? Mm hmm Now, you go down here with step six, and you do a verb 21, now and one, enter. 1332, enter. Zero, enter. Mm -hmm. And at that time, what the thing does is it goes back to 5018, then. You just release the disc key, and it goes back to doing what it was doing. No problem, okay? Mm -hmm. You did accomplish step six, but... The way the, pro, the way the thing is written, then, he goes down and he went to the plus so three, three, three degrees a second and did put 24 and that's so all. Right down there and he's really putting three, five, four, zero, zero. Enter. At that point, what we have him doing is verb 24 enter. 49 has terminated itself. Instead of verb 24, now no one enter because the now one should be in there. Okay. okay. But again, when he hit three, five, four, zero, zero, enter, he just went back to 5018. 
So then when he did a verb 24, and he had a verb 24, and now he did an airline. Okay. That's an upper Thanks, sir. If he does that, might be one of the years we're not sure that he's doing where he hasn't tried to sort it out. You got Moker Dynamics? Roger. Okay, just a second. Punch up on it. Enter or proceed? Guidance FAO. No, you should do an inner flight because you should do an inner flight. That's right. Don't worry more. That's right. Don't worry more. Don't worry more. Don't worry more. You think you know what happened? Yeah. Well, they're they're checking. Obviously, the first thing we know he did, he started writing in the erase book. It was 40. The erase book later was 40. Could be right. Got the upper. Could be the reason. Got the upper. Yeah. Want to ask him on that 1518 whether he hit a enter? Whether he hit a enter? Well, we might ask. But we might ask him if he ever so terminated 58 with an error, or if it just uh, okay. terminated itself. Oh, we can tell he just terminated itself. Oh, we can tell he just terminated the error. Can it do that? Um, I'm not sure, Charlie. CMS? Go. So, how did he get rid of 58? He entered finally after he came out of it. Okay. Okay, he did a key release and he got a 58 and he entered on it. Okay, but that's after he had already got down. And he uh, tried, he seven. got to the second part of step seven, yes. Okay. And then he got in trouble. Go ahead. Why can't we go right back to the um, third 21 now? No one, go through the whole smash and watch it again, make sure it's right. and watch it again, make sure it's right. That would seem to be the best way to get out of this. No, I'm not sure whether we need to do the whole thing or not. Okay, but if there's any question, good God, that's about uh, 30 disky keystrokes, and you can watch the whole thing go again and make sure it's right this time. I don't see any care problem. Do you see any comment? Oh, you want me to do cast the deciding vote or something? Go ahead, okay. The CMS guy says he just skipped down and went on down to the to the step seven, started the step seven, started the got to go in I just got rid of the 58. He didn't get a program alarm, just got an operator. The operator, yeah. Just got rid of the 58. Got rid of the 58. Step seven and press on, it'll all be fine. Seven or six. Seven or six. Okay, I'll see another one. No? Okay, we we still, I'm sorry. Step seven, we'll pick it up. Step uh, seven, we've great. got another problem. They just showed me, as you see, that we have to do the verb 49 and then pick it up at step seven. Okay. I'm verb sorry. 49 again. Huh? Yes, sir. So, uh, he wrote into the day. He managed to get it. Oh, and okay. you know, we we would like one. All right now, we don't have the right final CDU values loaded in. Good time. Good time. Good time. Well, how do we get that? How do we get to that? I don't know. He had the right numbers in there at one time. We're going to go back to step one. Well, we're all going to go back to step one. Well, we're all going to go back to step one. Well, we're all about that. Do you mean to say we got to go through a 20 minute wait period again? No. We can do that by this. We can do that by this. 49 does not have to wait, though, right? I'll do the point. We got all three points. Capcom? 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 All right. Explain it to the Capcom. We do a verb 49. Okay, we load. Do we have all of that? We have all of that. Yeah, we have all of that. 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 Then when he gets the next one, two. Then when he gets the next one, two. Then he loads them in 22. Then he gets a 58 team. And he hits pro. He's going to train. Pro. He won't fire any jets because he's at the center of the dead man. That's right. Well, it seems to me Capcom. And there goes the No. If he's at the center. If he's not, unless he's at the edge of the dead man, he doesn't doesn't fire any jets. I hope. Have we uh, positively identified that we've gotten rid of them? Is there any way we can avoid going? Is there any way we can avoid going? Is there any way we can avoid going? I think the reason to do the closing is to get the proper desired CDU loaded. Desired CDU loaded. Is that correct? Yes. We have the CDU loaded. Yes. We have the CDU loaded. That's why you have to do the probe. That's why you have to do the 
themselves their love. You know, we were going to get a flow chart out here in the last time okay, we went through this thing. Go. We might have a way to get around it without going back to 49. We just, I'm checking it, but we go from CMC Auto to CMC Hold and then back. And it should reload and choose a new attitude. Stand by. He loads his present CDU. And now 22. The next is any pros on that. Right. Next display is going to be a 58. He just loaded the actual right now. So if he pros, it shouldn't do anything. Because the rate is zero, because the rate is zero, and he's already there. We don't really have to alter. We don't really have any attitude, the desired or the actual. So why don't you just hit an enter? Why don't you just hit an enter and that terminate verb forty nine and get everything set up? Does that correct thing? It doesn't store anything until you do a pro after you load it to make that maneuver. He kept up. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's right. Yeah. 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 Ye
Then he copies those down, and he calls the verb 49, he loads the verb 49, he loads those, he loads those, then he does a pro, and nothing should happen. Gets rid of the verb 49, gets rid of the verb 49, and proceeds right on through, and proceeds right on through, and proceeds right on through, without the 20 minutes wait, without the 20 minutes wait. GNC? And guidance. Okay, go. We can do it. Okay, go. 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 So what we're going to have to do is call up the present CDUs, copy those down, copy those down, and do a verb 49, load the present, then do a proceed, do a proceed, then an enter, and then we can uh, then set up attitude hole on step six, over. AGC CMS on coverage. Okay. No, we did last time. Yeah, uh, Bruce is over here saying, saying that, that um, it's just to, to load the uh, hole from the uh, to entering on the uh, which the bird uh, forty nine, which the uh, bird forty nine was uh, still running in a clobberty uh, CDUs over. Okay. 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 Well. Okay, everybody. Guidance. I'm watching. Watch. Watch. Do that? Yes, sir. It, it is maneuvering right rapidly, but that's all right. We're going to kick it in the pants anyway. Okay, Two minutes. Okay. As long as the other two axes are stable, that's all we want. Well, when he hits the... When he proceeds, then they're going to maneuver him and roll? He should have all three axes in Excel command. Is that part of the procedure? Yeah, I hope. We're fat. He did it already. It's all done. No disturbance. Sorry. Looks real good. Right. FAO CMS. No. Okay, I'd like to. We'll talk about it, but a checklist change to avoid this type of problem. How would you do that? Okay, on, on that same page where it, ch where it has all the erasable data, mm -hmm. in the bottom of each step seven section where it says verb 21 enter. And in the first two it says verb 21 enter, and the second one verb 24 enter. Change each of those to read verb 21 now no one enter, or verb 24 now no one enter. And this whole problem wouldn't have occurred. Where are at now? Step seven, the second section of each of those numbers. Oh, the verb 21 enter? Yeah, where well, it just says verb 21, add now no one enter. You know, verb 21, now no one enter. Just like it is above that point in each case. Okay, he's about to start. Okay, he started and it looks good. Now, what will that do for me? Okay, if in any case he has something on that. Hold on. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay. Okay. Now go again. Frank. Right. If he has anything on the disk, the way it's set up in, in step seven assumes that he has nothing in there because 
when he keys the enter on the first section of step seven, okay, whichever read he's taken, mm -hmm. then the, the disk key goes back to whatever it was. But at, at the moment, the way it's written, it, this, this procedure assumes that noun one is going to stay there. See, you go down there. That's, you never can do a verb two, four, enter without having some noun there, and it assumes noun one stays there. But if in this case, like he had something else Sorry, using the disk key from inside the computer, then, it, then he does a virtual report now and something like that. He can and he loaded into it. Okay? You got that checklist still in front of you? Yeah, right. Uh, the CMS guy says on verb 21, enter in the, in the step 7, the second group of numbers. Mm -hmm. If we'd add, add a 901 enter, after that verb 21 in her week. Oh, you thought it was. Oh, as a way of to solve the problem again. Yeah. 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 yeah, I think it caught everybody by surprise. Okay. You know, everybody's so okay. gun shy of this procedure. You know, the stamp yeah. procedure. Where did he say we should have the 01 then? Uh, 901 down right after verb 24. Like 24 in her? Right yeah, the second verb 24. Oh, oh, we'll make it an 01 enter just like we do to have in the first series. Oh, actually, okay. That would have taken okay. care of our uh, That's what he says. Why don't you check that with your people? Okay, okay. well, they're still chasing several things that they saw. First of all, it's a big rate, which they didn't understand. Go ahead, over. You find your defectors integrated. Have you got one that's integrated? I'm the Alpha, placed in Bravo, placed in Bravo, Omni, to Omni. Flight Network. High Gang Norak, to Manual. Flight Network. Flight Network. This transmission may not be getting up. We have a little bit of a cool time. Break, 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 they yeah. handed over to Goldstone during your transmission. That might save some time. Let me know when you get locked up. Let me Go, CMS. Okay, come out and talk to you about this change. Yeah. 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 Hey, I got a story what happened to that uh, queen. What happened? Uh, I had an east enter instead of west. Somehow, one of my ships here had the east, which is over in China somewhere. <laughs> over in China, now, that was on the other side of the world. Yeah. It should have still pointed them pretty much in the center of the earth, but uh, that I don't understand why it didn't. He said it wasn't even that here.
We just got it fine. Okay. They go around the horn here. Retro. Retro. Yeah, all the crew here. Yeah, all the crew here. Sleep. How about you, Spider? Guidance. That's negative. Okay. Okay. How about you? GNC. Okay. Ecom. No purges, no fence. No purges, no fence. No, no nothing purges, you need no before you go to sleep. Go. Go. Four heaters auto, four fans off, right. Houston, call Apollo 11. Houston, we verify that four crown heaters auto, the four fans off, over. Okay, CAPCOM, you can tell them we'll close them down for the night if we get a uh, call shortly. Get the, uh, call shortly on the seven ten degrees per second rate. We'll give them a call, otherwise they're cleared to start their uh, snuggling down. Snuggling down. And then if we don't get it up to them the next half hour, and that rate, we'll give it to them early tomorrow morning. Slowly in the west, the white team bid you good night. If we get a story on the yeah, we'll 7th, uh, we can get it to you uh, we can get it to you in about 15 minutes or so. If not, we'll give it to you in the morning. Over.
Procedure science two on flight director two. Flight guy. Go guys. Go guys. Explanation. I think on the right. Explanation. I think. Okay, why don't you wait till Capcom comes back and we'll all talk to all of you. We'll all talk to all of you. Let's all in here once. Let's all in here once. Get the extra mark and read the copy down. I don't know whether it'll be. Why don't you wait till Capcom comes back? Why don't you wait till Capcom comes back? Flight June 6. Oh, June 6. Uh, ask the crew before going to sleep. Put the object in zero. Put the object in zero. Put the object in zero. Optics in zero. Okay. So hold that. And we'll give left at the same time. We'll give left at the same time. We'll give, the, the, time. We'll give the explanation on the right. We put them in what? Optics. Put them in what? Optics. Zero. In case of contamination or something, there's another reason. Oh, that's just the normal. Can sit and drift around with men in manual. Is that right? Okay. There's no big thing. Guidance FAL. Go ahead. Hey, we'd like to make that checklist change that I've discussed with you if you can concur with it. Yeah, I believe uh, we've got concurrence already from MIT. Let me check one more time. There. The noun on one at the end of the verb 24. Yeah. That's affirmative. I understand we got the hot smoking gouge on the side. Okay. Okay. Can't lose your humor. No. Sorry, you, Jim. No, I'm thinking of the best way to go through this Okay. Well, stand by. Okay. Well, it seems everybody's talking to me in reverse things. I normally expect GNCs to talk to me in daps, but now I got guidance is talking to me in daps. Is talking to me in daps. I mean, it's sort of confusing. I mean, it's sort of confusing. I don't want this to be another water bag procedure. <laughs> okay, go. We're going to listen to the hot Okay, go. We're going to listen to the hot Okay, go. Smoke and gouge on 7 tenths degrees. Okay, fly down. Okay, fly down. Clear as I can. The whole problem has suspected the result of the before loading the erasable quantities loading and effectively putting them into the dam. When you load verb 49, when you load verb 49, set desired CDUs equal to current. Don't have any delta angle, don't have any delta angle. Unless you got them, we're going to fly. Adios, call the whole flag. Set negative. Set negative. Now, if we went and loaded a race ball with this whole flag set negative, with the race bank, the delta C bank, delta C bank, they would be affected immediately. Okay, so to avoid that, you set the whole flag to zero. Step six. Step six. Go down and load your race ball. Go down and load your race ball. Set it back to the negative bank. And step eight. Okay. Now we did not load the, the verb yeah, 49. Yeah, 49. So that meant that, that we had an old desired CDU value in there. It could have been anything. Whatever the flags had in there. Whatever the flags had in there. Desired CDU value. Okay, we come on down. We set our yeah, whole flag to negative. Load up our race ball with the right data. Then we set the whole flag to negative. Then we set the whole flag negative. The to take whatever increment exists between the old desired CDU and the actual CDU. Right and and put it in right and it could be, it right right degrees. It could be 100 degrees, it could be 30 degrees. And it takes it out right then. It whatever takes it out right then. At whatever rate you need to take it out. At whatever rate you need to take it out. Doesn't it? 
as a result, you got this large the thing, 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 thing that over, over there. there. That's over there. Yeah, but, but we, it, I can see it maneuvering and pitching y'all correctly, or reading y'all correctly, or reading it because it was told to maneuver it. But in roll it, we maneuvered it seven inches, yet it was told to maneuver it, we told to maneuver it three inches. Now, why? Now, why? Okay, let me see if I can make it clear. Let me see if I can make it clear. It, it will actually go larger than that. Trying to take me out of here. Trying to take more than here out. Let's get more than we can see the chip of it. So it went up to well. We cannot well. We cannot. We can only tell it went up to somewhere around seven ten. But it would actually, they say, it would actually exceed that rate number that you're trying to take out this large area. Trying to take out this large area. So, what do you set it to three tenths of four per unit? Oh, now that's the normal rate that you want in there. The normal rate that you want in there. But also with the forty, you normally have the, the, the incremental error you want zero. You set in the rate small delta C and U angle. To continually increment by at that rate. Yeah, so what rate. you're saying is so what I'm saying. You're saying you hired people to your actual CDUs, you could end up with whatever maneuver rate that that thing to be. That's right. You have to take the right and try and implement it. Be a large difference. Is there any limiting factor? Is there any limiting factor? I'm not sure if I checking. I finally caught on to what you were saying there at the end. It, well, it appears to me if there's no limit, uh, it, it must, something must limit it. It started at 10, they started at 10, they had 7 tenths, and stayed. If there's no limit and it was a large angle between desired and actual, it seems to me it would have that an error, that's an error, that's an error, that's an error, saturated. Yeah, and it would turn on a jet and just keep the jet turned on, keep the jet turned on, and now when you had to keep the jet turned on until it sees the error signal on not saturated, just like the egg does. The and he didn't do that. And he didn't do that. Well, I'm I'm not so sure that. Uh, tell all that. I've had it. 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 Hey, I'll tell you what. Why don't we go back and play back that piece of paper? It's difficult to go back and play it back. And I think, from a standpoint of uh, looking at our procedures for later on, might be worthwhile to do that. That's right. Why? 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 Procedures? Do you want to go back and look at all that data so we can look at it? Okay, right. Right now, like always, right now, like always, that is an optics. That's right. Zero. Tell them what we're going to do to look at that seven tenths. We got a lot of theories, Capcom, and I think a pretty good feel. But whatever we want to do, we'll be look at it. Want to do is go back and look at it. Playback. Procedure 11, Houston, uh, one request, the optics uh, switch to zero, and we're in a lot of theory, we're in a quiet maneuver at 7 tenths a moment ago, Mike, but no real definite answer, we'll be back with you later, over. Okay, no rush, Charlie, thank you.